Almost. Celebrating with a one shot RP. Tradition. Uh, close to, right? What are you doing? Sure am gonna need to talk to my mic. Hello, everyone. Why do we have it so cold in here? <laughs> I'm glad it's cold. I'm wearing so much clothes. We've, um, <laughs> we've turned down the heat because we are in Antarctica. We also went back in time to 1930. 1930? <gasps> That's mm. the also? Yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited for today. <sighs> yes. So, uh, if you've never seen an RPG played before, it's just a way to tell stories with your friends. I will be running the game, um, and these three will be running characters that they have created in the game itself. We're playing a system called Dread, which I don't know if you can see it over there, but uh, in lieu of dice, which most RPG systems use, we're using... An ominous wooden Ephesus. A tower. A what? A tower. Oh. E to Ephesus. The sky. I think is what he said. Like a butthole? No. no. A tower. That's an anus. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm sure it has a proper name, but for copyright reasons. The Orphus. It doesn't. Not today. Uh, so the way the game is going to work is... I'm going to sort of lay out scenarios and situations, and then these guys are going to act in character in order to resolve those things. Uh, it's The primary objective is to tell a good and fun story, but obviously their characters probably want to stay alive, uh, but the story comes paramount. So whenever they attempt something that has a risk of failure, and that failure would actually mean something in terms of the story uh, they must or can choose to go and pull a block from the tower if they successfully do so and place the block on top uh, they succeed in that action or that thing happens that they were trying to do they can choose not to draw which means the thing fails but failure cannot result in their own character's death if they pull and the tower collapses, then the character is removed from the game, usually via death. Removed? Yep. Damn. And you'll note there's only one tower, but we have three players. So they're all working on the same. Oh, I, my fingers aren't very dexterous today for some <laughs> reason. <laughs> I thought you meant there's only one tower, three of us, only one of us can die. No. Oh. No, if someone dies, we no, reset the, it. The dead guy gets Keep to going. reset it and make it as rickety as he wants. Yeah, the system is called Dread. If you want to check it out for yourself, it's uh, Dread. <clears throat> it's my first time running it, so we will see how it goes, but it seems like it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. We also have a lot of props today. Obviously, we are dressed for the occasion. Uh, we do have gloves. It's going to be cold times, so if they feel more comfortable using their own hands to manipulate the blocks, they instead have to submerge them in the ice bucket over there for a few moments. Before, th before they can do it. Yeah, because it's cold in the Antarctic. <laughs> I don't fear the cold. And if they happen to lose their gloves sometime during the adventure, I have a special ice bucket just for them. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> you have a blanket? <laughs> I, have a, I have my other jacket for when it gets colder. Yeah. <laughs> and there's other uh, props and things going around, including this guy, who is the lead dog on the sled team. There's and a sled team? He needs a name. So if you um, look down in chat where that purple oh. bubble is, there should be a way that you can suggest a name for the sled dog. Hmm. Uh, that's going to cost some channel points, but once you've done that, I will go through that list, we'll make a poll, and then um, we'll have a name for the sled dog. So, oh, People are naming the dog. That's how that's going to work. He is a good boy. He's player four. Are you going to be voicing the dog? Um, <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I couldn't get Cuba Gooden Jr. for this. Ah, dang it. So or George Clooney. They can't? Oh, I messed that up. Are they just redeeming? Everybody stop. Stop redeeming. Uh, no, continue. Stop. Welcome to chaos. 
All right, let me see if I can fix that here. People are, people are dropping their channel points like snow. Redeem. Redeem. We should be able to... <laughs> can I just edit it? Probably. Is that how that works? Uh, name the sled dog. Edit. All right, what do we do here? Jake, you have a husky in real life. There we go. What do the huskies sound like? And can you reproduce that sound? Got it. So just Jake is the the husky voice? <laughs> All right, we'll go oh, in and refund some of those old ones. Eh. Not right now, though. <laughs> but it should be working now. It's, it works. So we'll give that a couple minutes as we sort of uh, begin things here. Does anyone have any questions? Either here at the table or in chat um, before we get started. Uh, I should also mention, so like I said, um, you can, you're never forced to pull from the tower, but if you don't, you fail. Uh, if you pull from the tower and it falls, you die, most likely, and you also fail. Most likely. So, but there is a way for the tower to collapse and you succeed. You can sacrifice yourself. So if things get dire enough, or the action is just important enough, and the tower looks awfully wobbly. We have a very uneven floor here. Uh, you can instead sacrifice your character by just shoving the tower over. You will die, but you will also succeed. Not die. Sacrifice! sacrifice. Oh, <laughs> oh. That's what Tarples did. He knocked over the Jenga tower. Yeah. Oh. And then other than that, um... So I have their character sheets here as well, so I can kind of have a look. Um, but if at any time you feel like your character should have some sort of particular advantage or has an expertise at something that I ask you to pull from, I might choose to not have you pull for that action. Uh. Or some actions are complex and require multiple pulls, and I might have you pull less. Okay. Um, and the other way could work as well. Like you could say, you know, I've never driven a car in my life, and... You therefore would have to maybe draw extra for driving. Definitely driven a car. I will. <laughs> but your character? No, he's driven one. Okay. But have you driven a horse? Uh, I think it's called riding. Have you driven bear? Yeah, I, I didn't have a steering wheel when I was on it. <laughs> <laughs> driven I bear? I drive no. bear. I have not. No bear. I think, I think it's a lot more common drive. for people to no have bear. ridden a horse than driven a car in 1930. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to give the plot introduction. And okay. then um, these guys can um, introduce their characters, like to each other, in character, uh, while I get that poll created for the sled dog, because he will need a name. All right, like I said before, 1930, beginning of the southern polar winter. We are flying to Antarctica. You are a team of experts hired as the rescue party for a group of explorers with whom all contact ceased. Their mission was considered risky by their scientists because it didn't take place during the summer and because of their apparent haste while preparing. So the related institutions have refused to send an official rescue party. They knew the risk involved, as it were. However, a worried parent of one of the explorers is willing to pay your year's income to go there and rescue their child and anyone and everything else you can. You have accepted their offer and are now on an airplane to Antarctica. Okay. So if we can go ahead and start that, Jake. Start the engines. What? Start the engines. I can hear him. Not that bit, one. A little bit creaky. Is there a better plane? <laughs> <laughs> plane doesn't sound good. That's the wrong one. <laughs> Hang on. We'll be in the air soon. I'll send it to you. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are we in air now? Uh, we're on the plane. The 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 motors are I surprisingly heard monkey. silent. They're monkey currently. on plane. There you go. No. No. Do I, I want, don't hear do so I wanna, good. Do I want to be British. I don't know. You I got, you got a compliment. Enough. Yes, be British. Did you get it? You're British. British. Vito, you're okay. British. Vito. Yep. <laughs> you do. You're so good with your British accent now. It's better. Are you gonna be old? Old and British. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you taking old people to the Antarctic? <laughs> well, you're an expert. 
I guess. No, I can't be too old. Okay. I have gotcha. a mom okay, to it. worry about, right. so. So many layers. Fuck. Like an onion. All right, there we go. Ah. Cruising. Oh, all right. Excuse me, sir. You, you there. They allow vodka in this plane? I, I suppose. <laughs> I Do put you have some vodka? in my cocoa. Do you have cocoa? No. Would As you not. like some vodka anyway? Uh, sure. Here, have some, my friend. Thank you. You might need it later. <laughs> you, boy, uh, you're too young. No vodka. What? How old are you? 28. Oh, you don't look a day over 15 to me. I don't see too good, though. <laughs> it's probably Can I have a drink vodka? anyway? Uh, good enough for me. Have some as well. All right. Keeps you warm. Yeah. <clears throat> Is it just uh. us? Oh. Uh, so... I um, heard a monkey earlier. <laughs> so there are um, the three of you. There's a pilot and a co-pilot. And there's another plane flying as well. Uh, that is a cargo plane that has a pilot and a co-pilot. All right. Your pi pilot, see the other plane. How close can we get before it touch? What, what are you How talking close? about? We used to do this all the time in the Russian army. Uh, they're about 20 minutes behind us, actually. Oh, I can't see them very well. <laughs> Why? I guess not that close. Why did your army fly? I don't know. It's a good question. I ask my general when I get back. <laughs> right? Before air forces, <laughs> all airborne units were army. <laughs> oh, all right. All right. Have you two ever made this trip before? No. I don't believe many have. I've been to Antarctica many times. The company sent me there. What company would that be? Oh, many companies. When they need guide, I go to Antarctica. Not many people know their way around, but I've been there before. How many people have you brought back? Well, never not one. What? But I've only ne taken four or five. Never it not one? Not well, one I've, brought back? Or I've, not one? I've come back five times. So five. Were you the one? <laughs> yeah, so five times. Oh boy. All right. It's most important with this company. Don't ask questions. They, they hire you again. I think more vodka. There should be some sort of review process. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> review process is cute. You boy. What's no your more vodka. <laughs> What's your name? Damn. Oh, my name. My name is Nikolai. Nikolai? Nikolai Ivondovich. Nikolai, Nikolai. Right. nice to meet you. The, uh, I, I'm the English speakers call me no chill. No. No chill. I, they chill. say I have no chill. No chill. No oh. chill. Ironically, I do very well in cold weather. No chill. Okay. No chill. I feel no chill. All right. But you may call me Nikolai if you wish. Okay. Nikolai. Nikolai, no chill. No chill. Very well. I'm Charles. You can just call me Charles. Oh, not nice Chuck. Nice to meet you, I've Charles. I've called no. a friend named Charles Chuck before. I call you Chuck. You have Charles Chuck. Uh, Charles, you prefer Charles? Charles is fine, sure. I'll call you Charles. All right. What you, sir? What's your name? I'm Jonathan, but you can call me John. 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 All right. Very nice to meet you, John. Very nice to meet you. And you, Chuck. Oh, sorry. No, Charles. Chuck. Yes, Nice Charles. to meet you. Thank I hope you. you return with me. I hope so, too. <laughs> that would be nice. It's my goal. Have you ever brought everyone back? Well, one time I went by myself, and I came back. Damn it. You said never That's, less... I'm missing most of my supplies when I return. Ah, I never not that. one means he always brought back himself or he brought back more? More than himself. Either two or none. All right. Uh, At least two. Let me have more of that vodka, please. Yes, sir. We have good time, huh? Hey, Maybe I'd lay more off vodka that vodka. Make we're, we're getting kind of close back there. Uh, I do better with vodka, but I understand. I do, uh, and I respect your authority. Uh, uh, how, we how, put the vodka away, John. No more vodka. For how you. much longer? Well, um, uh, you um, I will probably want to try to take a bit of a nap first. 
because we're gonna be arriving first thing in the morning. Ah. Pilot, ironically, vodka helps me sleep. That's good. That's good. I even have a bedtime story for you. But I wonder first, what they call jet lag. But Bl first of all... Plane lag. Blimp lag. <laughs> <laughs> um... I hope that, um... That each of you remembers the piloting lessons that we gave before we headed out. Just in case something were to happen. So you guys have a choice? If you want to remember the pilot, the piloting lessons, you can go and make a pool. If I don't want to remember, I just don't worry about it then? Yep. Excuse me, Charles. Do you remember how much vodka I've had so far? I'll, uh... <laughs> I'll do it! Uh, what? Perhaps, perhaps... Unless you two think it's not a good idea. We should I take more of a leadership, bro. Perhaps we should do a pool. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I, I, I agree. At least one of us. Who has the best hands? Not the drunk. No. I have a very uh, steady hand, but I will, okay. I will volunteer to do the pull and attempt to remember pilot lessons. All right. All right. Here I go. If you drop that now, it's going to be a really weird death John, sequence. John! <laughs> John! John, can I see your hand? It is a steady hand. It's a very steady hand. Very steady. I don't know how close I should make this. I don't see any spikes. There's already holes in it. There are. Yeah, we started with less than five players. I can see straight through. Oh. Uh. Careful, John. The vodka help. <coughs> Notice John use one hand. Uh. Only one hand. Yep, only I'm one hand. Mike with the other. One hand at a time, right? One hand at a time. Correct. And you uh. can choose which block you pull. Um, change, I should say. E this means John. It is pilot. complete. I remember everything I was taught. <laughs> Always take notes. I'm very happy, John. I I must be honest. I don't remember much. All right. Is that the only person making a pool? Uh, that should be good, right? <laughs> only okay. one of us. Well, I kind of remember. There's two pilots for a reason. I have a good. <laughs> yes, in case one dies. What if both of them die? Oh, and how... then I die. How likely is that to happen? This is the Antarctic! People yeah. die all the time! Yes, but we're gonna land soon, and there's another plane behind. So they'll see the smoke plume and radio home? Y yes, for a rescue party. Hmm. You two talk funny. What could happen? It's not like we heard a weird sound earlier. You mean the shaking and the rattling of the plane? No, yes, of course not. That was just, uh, Nikolai. Still contend that I heard a monkey. Uh, I think I'm good. I won't pull. I don't want to risk Monkey the, on the plane. I don't want to risk the tower. We got Calvin. Fuck off. <laughs> Fuck off. All right. All right. Well, I hope one of you remembered something. So, time for your bedtime story. He pulled. He remembers something. I do remember something. Speak up. The sound of plane. Very loud. You take a nap and we'll be there before you know it. I remember something. <laughs> oh, John About remember. flying planes. Charles, you here? He remember. Good for you. It, it's Jonathan! Hopefully we won't <laughs> need to see it. All right. <laughs> um, so, just a bit of a warning for where you're going. I don't know if any of you have been in the Antarctic before, but Anytime. it is a, a deadly place and a, a place where you need to respect nature. Nature will get you. I heard a tale once about a land of people who lived in the snow and they were one with nature. They would, they would hunt their food with spears and um, life was lean, but life was good. However, a polar bear came into the region Ooh. and um, started taking some of the food from them. So they would go to hunt it as well. They would attack it with spears, and they would defeat it, but they would also lose some of their members of the tribe as well. And there was sort of this blood-for-blood blood agreement between the tribe and the polar bears who roamed the region. Eventually, they became weary of losing men to the polar bear, so they started to take 
um, these poisonous mushrooms and spores, wrap them in fat, and leave them in a trail where they knew the polar bear would go. The polar bear would walk along, and it would greedily eat these fat-covered orbs, and would cause the polar bear's terrible pain, cause blood to be pouring out of both ends, and eventually they would keel over and die in excruciating pain. The, uh, the tribe did this over and over again until their gods became angry at them inflicting so much suffering and cursed them likewise uh, with some sort of disease that caused their stomachs to rip asunder, blood to pour from them in agonizing death wiping out the entire tribe. Now, it is only the polar bears that remain. That wasn't a very relaxing bedtime story. Shh. <laughs> I thought you said story would be funny. Shh. I must have imagined. Polar bear, very dangerous. Many type of bears that I've worked with, never polar bear. Only carnivorous bear. All eat meat. Do you have experience with bear? No. I do. Not not polar bear. After the war, I would take politicians to bears and teach them to ride for photo ops. Interesting. <sighs> All right. But a very interesting <laughs> story the pilot just tell us. These orbs seem interesting. I think it's probably time we should get some shut eye. Now, by the time you wake up, we'll be there. So remember, it's going to be colder than you think. Smear fat on anything that you can't cover. Try to cover as much of your skin as you can. The only way to use the toilet is to use a bedpan indoors and spill the waste outside. Taking off a glove means you'll likely lose fingers. Drinking alcohol is strongly discouraged. No more drink after playing. Uh, start to sober up. If you touch anything with bear skin outside, you'll lose part of that skin. We don't no touch bear. All right. Well, have a good night, gentlemen. We'll right, see you in the morning for landing. I fell asleep early. Good night, my friends. All right. I fell asleep. I've been sleeping. You fall asleep. Does anyone have any dreams or nightmares while they sleep? Oh, many nightmares from the war. Many, many nightmares. It's actually rather but, peaceful right now for me. But Not now always. my dreams of war are infested with bears after that story. <laughs> Not much different from what happened. Just with bears. Not a peaceful sleep. <clears throat> long as I'm traveling, I'm fine. Hmm. Well, if it was a peaceful sleep, it is a rude awakening. Oh. We get that other sound effect. Monkey. The plane begins to shake violently. <laughs> and uh, you can kind of hear but not quite understand the um, pilot and co-pilot sort of yelling at one another. You hear some buzzers and sirens going off. Uh, you can feel that you are descending, but you are descending much quicker than you should be. <laughs> the pilots are doing a good job keeping things steady, but uh, some of the equipment is sliding around the, pl the plane. I need each of you, or you <laughs> have the option, to make either one or two pulls from the tower. If you make one pull, you will avoid serious injury. If you make two, you will avoid all injury. I'm sober now. I make pull. Wait, make... how? All right. Uh, you two of us? I need everyone to make either one or two pulls. One pull will save you from severe injury. Each? Each. H how, okay. How Damn. bad is light injury? Two, hmm. you'll have no injury, or you could make no pulls. But and you will die. be severely injured. And you make two pulls. Alright. I'll I'll pull one. Oh sure. Huh. <clears throat> I go first. <laughs> and we can only use one hand. One hand at a time. 
It shook so much. Yep, that <laughs> shook a lot. I gotta admit, I was a little scared. One. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> okay, that's not budging. Not budging at all. Oh, that budge. This is going to be a hard game. <laughs> Thank God I go first. <laughs> Make sure it doesn't bump the table on the way. Yeah. <laughs> I'm die. <laughs> it, it comes out so easy though, huh? Look at that. Ooh, who, what kind of monster does this? Perfect. I did it. There you go. That was one. I know. Taking a light injury. <laughs> I will avoid severe injury. Okay. Well, that's one. <laughs> it's so shaky already. That's why I took one injury. <laughs> not have confidence, my friend. This may not have been the best choice, but it was the only choice. Oh my goodness, <laughs> 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 oh my <God>. Okay. <laughs> You're not gonna regret that. Uh, I might not. I'm not going next. <laughs> now what if it falls over while no one's over there? Then we all die. <laughs> yeah, if someone's action causes it to do it, then their character is going to die. Uh, if it's Jake, then we just kill him. I guess. All right. He, he doesn't have a character. I quit. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. So, the plane crashes. Oh, what? Uh, so, no one could have seen that coming. So let's see. Uh, <laughs> Charles pulled one, correct? Yes. Uh, Nikolai pulled two. Two. Jonathan? Pulled two. Okay. So, uh, Charles. Yes. You, um, the impact happens, and you sort of jolt forward in your chair mm. and um, hit your head on the one in front of you. Okay. And are knocked unconscious. Oh, Charles! Jonathan and Nikolai, uh, you are jolted, but are uninjured. Um, some of the equipment goes crashing. Fortunately, it avoids everyone. <laughs> but vodka! <laughs> it is destroyed. You can make a pool so it's not destroyed. Probably best I not have it. <laughs> All right. Mission start. I know drink on job. <laughs> Alcohol's not just good for drinking. You we hear... pour someone Charles, you think? <laughs> so, um, uh, you hear two separate glass breaking sounds. One you recognize to be your vodka, but the other sounds much um, bigger and towards the front of the plane. Do you hear that glass break? They have more vodka in cockpit? <laughs> I would say that's probably the windscreen. Oh, that's bad crash. So the pilot Mike and the co-pilot Mitch uh, also seem to be relatively uninjured. Oh. They are immediately uh, helping the unconscious people out of the plane. Uh, what are you doing? We we help to get, we help Charles. Okay. <laughs> oh, I thought they were helping me. <laughs> <laughs> you looked like you were being picked up by someone invisible. Charles yeah, haunted. Mike and Mitch were picking me up. Yeah. I get feet, you get back. Hold head. Going to take a quick look around for supplies that I can carry to get off the plane. Okay. So on this plane is. Let's see here. Okay. So this plane includes um, essentials. Uh, the cargo plane has a lot more stuff, but it hasn't arrived yet. So there's a very large supply of food, uh, which will last you and uh, the people you're rescuing. 
for three times longer than the mission is planned. So there's quite a bit of food. You should be okay on that end. There are first aid kits. There are gas heaters. Uh, you can use them for yourself, but you also need to he heat the fuel in the planes in order, or any machinery, machinery that you come across. There's enough fuel for a return trip. There are two signal flares. There are two electric torches. There's an axe. And there's a portable two-way radio. Wow. And if there's something you have on your person, you can have it, but your bags are in the cargo plane. And the cargo plane is 20 minutes away? Yeah. And didn't crash. <laughs> Oh, I, Yet. Yeah, it, it, it ha has not arrived. And as far as you know, has not crashed. Okay. You would probably see smoke. Um, The weather is mostly clear for the time being. <clears throat> Question on that before, even though I'm unconscious. Is it my, like, like I usually have, like, a doctor's bag? Yeah. One of my things. Is that going to be back there, too, or do I have it on me? Like, um, does that have to literally be like on my person, like clothes? No, uh, you can have your doctor's bag. Okay. Uh, as long as it's like a handheld one. Yeah. Yeah. It'd be like a handheld bag. Yep. That's fine. And um, um, <laughs> the pilots give a quick look over of the plane and they say it's not in any immediate danger of exploding or uh, there's no fuel leaking or anything like that. They're not sure the extent of the damage. And they sure as hell don't know how they're going to get the landing gear up. Um, but they're going to be looking at that. All right. A few minutes pass. Um, the doctor remains unconscious. You hear <laughs> the next plane coming before you see it. Ooh, you hear that? Uh, this plane is quite a bit bigger than your plane. We st we must get their attention. Uh, what would you suggest? Well, maybe they just... It's very possible they see the, the plane crash, I suppose. Maybe we don't need to do much. <laughs> well, they do seem to be descending. Oh, look, they come down. Unfortunately, it's... Uh, quicker than they should. Well, they come very fast. Looks like that they're caught in some sort of air current. And they, um, don't just come straight down. It, like the plane turns over as it then rapidly begins to go down. Who does tricks at time like this? Uh, the entire ground shakes. Uh, smoke immediately begins billowing out of it. Uh, the sound of glass and metal ring in your ears uh, as this crash appears to be much worse than the crash you guys suffered. Oh, my God. Those people need help. Do you go to help them? Yes, I go help. My stuff is there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So um, the plane is on fire. There is a pilot and a co-pilot um, on board the plane. They are not running out on their own. Um, there's also the kennel of the sled dogs. You hear barking uh, on the plane. And then there is the equipment. The pilot and the co-pilot head in directly to go and get the pilot and the co-pilot of this plane. So what would each of you like to get who are conscious? Damn. <laughs> I'd like to get woke up. <laughs> do, you, do you hear dog? The dog. I will go help the dog. Yes, go help the dogs. I'll try to s look, scrape up some look supplies. Look my bag. Have, what's it look like? Uh, it has a, a picture of my favorite American accent, actress on it. Uh, there might not be many of those bags. Just pick up one with the face on it. I go look for dog. Okay. Uh, you rush in. Uh, smoke. Uh, yes, I am Russian. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for that. <laughs> uh, so the smoke is already thick and is um, choking your throat, <laughs> burning your eyes. Uh, the dogs are howling oh, and coughing. Oh, come, boy. Where, where are you, boy? Or oh, girl. Could be girl dog. Um, so um, 
The kennel is locked. You have no idea where the key is. I'll bring axe with me. Okay, you can have axe. Um, you need to make a pool. I make a pool. I save dog. All right. Chops his leg off. <laughs> this is the easiest role playing we've had for a while. Important. <laughs> like I just. <laughs> Good luck, Eric. <laughs> Stop taking him out of the downhill side. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I guess you could I, try to... I place back. <laughs> okay. I guess you could try to rotate the table. <laughs> no. <laughs> I hear my conscience. <laughs> <laughs> We don't, we're not left with many good choices. You're allowed to pull from any layer but the very top one. Precise f movement with fingers. <laughs> it's not easy with glove. <laughs> <laughs> All right. As Serrano in chat says, a drunk man with an axe, what could go wrong? I sober now. I take nap. But nothing today. Uh, you hit the lock. It opens. The dogs burst through the door. Go, boys. Run. Run outside. Uh, led by Ragnar, who chat shows for the name of the lead sled dog. Uh, the name on the tag. How, how I know name. Oh, all a good boy. Oh, it's a good boy. He's a good boy, Ragnar. Yes, yes. Oh, 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 Ragnar. Oh, Obi's going to get so I jealous. See. <laughs> all right. Um, uh, Jonathan, do you want to try to find Nikolai's bag? Is that your first priority? Uh, 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 on your way out, Ragnar, you can make another pool to try to grab something else. Ragnar, make pool. You can. Uh, can I have a quick look to see what something else could be? Well, um, you could find, let's see. You could find your bag. Um, you could find any of the characters' bags. Let's see. I had ringing in my ears when I was doing the Jenga table. Have you found, even found my bag, have you, Calvin? <laughs> um, I was going to try and look for... Okay, here we go. Some basic so, supplies okay. first. So the second plane has fuel, spare parts, climbing equipment, um, suitable clothes, excavation equipment, medicine, clothing, gas heaters. It also contains the guard's weapon bag and ammo bag. All extra l luggage the players want to bring, like, um, is anyone playing the chemist? No, right? No. Okay. Uh, being large, the plane is mostly empty since it's expected to ca carry back everything, people, gear, findings, machines uh, from the camp. Ragnar, look, he looked trained. Ragnar, grab bag. Grab bag, boy. Grab bag. <laughs> Can Ragnar <laughs> grab a bag? trained husky and i don't have to pull <laughs> i'll allow that <gasps> good boy the ragnar grab bag grab bag no idea what the bag is grab bag All so right. if the bag just happens it's completely random at the will will of the dog okay a doggy bag if you will he grabbed a bag and is out and you are out as well come the ragnar come is it he's the only dog no there's more dogs he's just a lead dog yes i will um it doesn't Unfortunately, it seemed like all of them made it out of the plane. All the dogs? Yep. Oh. Ragnar, look away. Look away, Ragnar. Look away. Yeah, uh, one is dead and one is out but seems to have a broken leg. So Wait. what What are you trying to get, Jonathan? I will look for... American hmm. actress. Heater, fuel... 
excavation equipment. In that order? So you do have some heaters on your other plane. Mm, excavation equipment first. Okay. So so not his bag. Uh, did Ragnar not get it? No. Okay. Bring them I, I will look for his bag then. Okay, so his bag and equipment? Yes. That's two pools. <sighs> it's worth it to Gene Harlow face on the bag. I'll try. Had to look up 1930s actors. <laughs> I believe in you. Why do we have a slanted building, Calvin? I don't know. I almost dropped this. Oh my god! <laughs> you could die getting my bag. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> just picking up a thing that's less than thirty pounds. I can. I need that bag. <laughs> <laughs> the plane is on fire. Uh, I uh, throw snow. Mm. Thro throwing snow helps take fire out. Quench fast. Uh, uh, Mike yells, "Get away from there! It's gonna blow!" Ragnar, come, come. We run away. Where the hell is Jonathan? I'm pulling wooden blocks Get out of a pile. Get the hell out of there! I've reached All for- Alright, I pulled two. I've reached for vodka at the breast pocket. No vodka. Alright, Jonathan runs out, a bag in each hand. Ah! And is thrown, tossed forward as there's an explosion in the plane. Jonathan, jump! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you hear the sound of what sound like fireworks going off inside as something uh, has caught fire. Um, you smell burning fuel. Uh, this plane does not appear to be recoverable. Uh, with that, Charles wakes up. Oh, how Welcome close am I to the plane? To the land of the living. <laughs> Which plane am I by? Uh, you're by the good plane. The one that hasn't exploded Not blown yet. up plane. It's, it's fucking cold out here. <laughs> <laughs> I might have blanket in, in the bag. Do you mean my bag? My bag, Jonathan. <sighs> so yes, um, uh, Nikolai, you have your weapons bag, Cowering but in not snow. your ammo bag. Face down. <laughs> okay. <laughs> two bags in the snow. So I have two revolvers, but no bullets. Or do I have bullets in the revolver? Um, here, let me see. No, I, actually, I, there you got it. I, it says I have spare ammunition, but that my two revolvers okay. have six each. Yes, so uh, you have everything on the sheet. I have everything? Okay. Yep. <coughs> Including? Stick of dynamite. My lucky stick. <laughs> I brought this with me every expedition. Not have to use it yet. I keep this away from fire, huh? <laughs> Here, Wait, Ragnar, you hold. You he puts in his you teeth. brought that back, but not people. Well, the people explode. There's no explode. What? That's not how dynamite works. Well, no, no, I had more dynamite. This is my lucky one. Oh. It not explode. But people do. Well, they, they they shake it. Nitroglycerin, very unstable. This one very stable. That's why I call it my lucky one. Haven't blown up yet. Look, and I just hey Doc, buck it on, buck you on the head. Look, <laughs> am I near <laughs> anything, or am I just by a plane with nobody around it? Um, well, so um, uh, Mike and Mitch have dragged over uh, the two co-pilots. Gotcha. To be near you. Okay. Doc. Oh. oh. What's going on? They're unconscious. They need help. Uh. All right. Um. I, I get my doctor's bag and. I examine them. Do I see any, like, wounds or injuries on them at all, or...? Um, so... Roy appears to have a, uh, a wound on his head that's bleeding. Okay. Uh, you don't... S um, it looks like Peter's leg is broken. All right. Also, not to complicate things, but another dog over there, broken leg. Much experience with dogs. Um, yes, I'll take a look at him as well. Um, I you don't have the, much You mean more. the dog that was still in the plane? No, there another one escaped. Broken leg, though. Right? Uh. Didn't, wasn't another, didn't another one come out that had a broken leg? Yep. Oh. All right. Um, I have, like, 
bandages and some typical things in my bag, I assume, but I don't know if I have things for, like, a broken leg splint kind of thing, so I might have to make one of those. Okay. Good dynamite. I don't think dynamite would be good in this case. <laughs> There's a first aid kit in the plane. The one that's not currently burning. True. All right. I'll, uh, grab that as well, maybe add that to my bag. Okay. So I have more stuff. And, uh, I'll wrap up the injury on the head. Okay. That's and, easy uh, enough to do without making a pull. And then, uh, I'll... I need to make a splint, so I need, like, something kind of long and hard. Not the dynamite, Nikolai. <laughs> um, let's see. I'm sure I can find, like, wood or something, right? Yeah. I, around I the look, plane. I look around. So I can, like, make something. I'll wrap it with, like, some cloth to try to splint. Make okay. a makeshift splint for the uh Surely the there's something off of that thing that just blew up. Yeah, I'll go and not quite start burned, gathering yeah. up things that I think are splint. S- something splint-like, yes. Yeah. Uh, perhaps metal, not hot. <laughs> yeah. Perhaps maybe a little hot. It's kind of <laughs> cold. <laughs> hey, Jake, is the snow sound playing? I hit it on mine, but I don't hear it. Luckily, not very cold yet, huh? Yeah. Just stand by the fire. At the very least, no snow. <laughs> there we go. Oh. I maybe should not have said that. Thanks, Nikolai. <laughs> Make sure cover face. No, very cold. Did you find anything for the splint? Yes, five to six options for you. All right, thank you. I'll take that. I'll make one for his leg. I'll uh, try to align the bone a little bit and reset it a little. And then uh, I, if there's a dog, I'll check out the dog as well. Check dog. And I'll do the same thing for him and make a splint for his leg and okay, do all that. What's uh, that dog's name? Floki. Floki. <laughs> <laughs> what is the dog's name? Do we know? That's uh, whatever you want. Uh, well, does chat have a, an alternate? Uh, if this is Ragnar, it could be Floki. Floki? Floki. 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 Floki injured leg. Or oh, tripod. Um, tripod? So, it's, uh, uh, it's a bit uh, morbid. I'm sorry. Ivan? Ivan. Ivan. Ragnar and Ivan. Ragnar and Ivan. All right. So, Jonathan and Nikolai, um, you notice that... Uh, Charles seems to do an okay job patching up the pilots um, but he was much faster patching up the dog of course just had practice on the human <laughs> dog's much easier you should have practice on lots of humans <laughs> <laughs> you're a doctor for god's sake but anyway Okay, so judge, Calvin, you, you got out dog. with um, with Nikolai's bag as well as a bag of excavation equipment. Yep. So you have that. Uh, you've got some heaters. You've got food. First aid kits. Okay. After the crash. We create camp in the plane. Well, yes. uh, my friends, first, I want to speak to you. It is huge coincidence that two planes crash at the same spot. Is this usually what happens when you come here? No, no, never. Never happened. You usually made it to the landing strip? Yes, every time. Never no problem. Usually, I drink to wear off by then. I get out of plane. No problem. But well. this time... <laughs> The problem, you know. Yes, big problem, yes. But other plane have problem. How likely is that to happen? Uh, Mike, the pilot, says, well, we've got big problems. Uh, I mean, we could set up temporary camp in the plane, but we really need to make our way to their base camp. But I think we're 100 kilometers out. 100 um, kilometers? Well, we have to get there so that we can get access to their long-range radio. Let people know. That we're gonna need help. How many of these dogs do we have? Just Ragnar and Ivan. Two dogs? No, no, no. Um, um, <laughs> and one with a broken bone. <laughs> I thought that was Ivan. Uh, 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 you have four dogs and plus one with a broken leg. Five okay. dogs, one's hurt. Um, do we have a sled? You do have a sled. Sledge, I should say. Hmm. So Mitch is looking at a map. He says, well, I don't think it's quite as bad of all that. I think actually we're only about four kilometers out. 
So we could get there in about an hour. But it's, there's quite a discrepancy in those two figures. I agree. Quite kilometers. a difference there. Well, <laughs> between 100 and 4. I'm in charge of navigating, so I'm sure my numbers are correct. Uh, closest without going over, huh? <laughs> So, I suppose we need to stay here and try and see if we can fix these planes. Um, planes? Well, we go ahead to find a base camp. That well. one's in half. <laughs> it's a good point. I think that's spare parts you now spare for this parts one. Fix other plane. There might be something. There might be something useful, but um, I can fix things. It's not often I can fix a plane. It's not quite my expertise. Much training in plane fixing, no, do you? No, not planes. No. You um, keep opinions. I'm a yourself. doctor. <laughs> Not a pilot. <laughs> not a pilot, I'm not a mechanic, an engineer, none of that. If you guys could make your way to the camp and see if you could find any help, find the radio, maybe find one of their tractors or something. We take dog and sled to camp. Multiple dog. The dogs. Yes. Not many. Not, I, in English, plural not work for me sometimes. Uh, perhaps we leave Ivan here so he can rest. Be lonely. <laughs> He's lonely. He'll have Mitch and Mike, and these other two fellas who are also resting. Yeah, I accept. All right. We have four doggies. Come to Ragnar. Bring dogs. Um. Okay. So you could all fit on the sled, but you wouldn't be able to bring much supplies. So are there any supplies that you guys want to bring? All I really have is my doctor bag. <laughs> the doctor bag's fine. All, my, yeah, all I the don't rest have... of my stuff blew up on the plane because no one grabbed my shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, if you want to take the... Um, can, can you dig a plane out with a scalpel? <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you want to take the excavation equipment, for example, uh, that would take a person's place. Which, I mean, you can walk. It's a 20-minute a walk. Um, I walk. I, I carry... I walk. I know how to walk in the snow well. Do we not have a working radio on the intact plane? You have a two-way radio. Okay. One? Does does base camp <laughs> or do we have two have a radio? You can try to contact them. Can I do that? Sure. Do you have radio experience? Um I'm sure Nikolai does. He was can in the one army. of the pilots? <laughs> I guess can <laughs> I right. tell them to do it? Okay. As long as directions in Russian, no problem. In Russian? Well, I don't read English. I speak it well though. As you could tell. Sure. Um, they get no reply. Damn. All right. Seems like maybe we get going there. If you would like to be on sled, I'll walk. Nikolai? Yes. Is it often that people are so busy in the Antarctic that they don't answer the radio? Well... Sometimes, because of the sun, you see, they sleep a lot. A lot of napping. They is, might be asleep. Is there perhaps a, uh, some form of, like, tent that we could take with us in case for some reason we have to, like, shelter for a while? We can bury ourselves in snow. Good insulation. No, I'd prefer a tent. I, trust me, it's very good. It saves your life. Again, I have been here many times. Save all of our lives or yours? Well... No one listen to me ever. If you listen to me, you live. Is there uh, a tent? <laughs> <laughs> uh, the tents were on the cargo plane. No. Damn. We're not Damn. saved. They burned up. Now, there is shelter at the camp. Sure. I'm just really worried about that discrepancy of four versus a hundred. <laughs> it seems oh, you don't, weird. You don't trust Peter. <laughs> Michael Mitch. You don't trust Navigator. Perhaps. No, to, um, be, to be fair, the navigator had Rick's voice. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Was there, is there anything else around that, like, would be things we could take with us? Small like, handheld items. Yeah, like, what all, we didn't have much on our plane, right? Not much. Um, uh, I mean, you can take some heaters, but you'll need to leave some of them for the plane uh, and the people here at the plane. I figure we'd probably just bundle up and go. Take, take a little bit of food with us, a little bit of water. Charles, trust for the dogs. Me. We don't want to be out here at any point. We need to get there as quick as possible. I agree. At, at least, right. at least confirm if it's where the pilot says it should Perhaps be. Perhaps I should stay here and take care of the patients. 
you should just split party. If you, if you think that's best, maybe, maybe Nikolai comes along with. The, uh, uh, the camp might have more people in more dire street. Oh, they're all dead, I'm people. sure. <laughs> <laughs> they might not just be napping, you know? It's, it's cold and they're not responding. It's not a good sign. Maybe another plane hit them. Plane's falling out of sky today. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's uh, 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 are we taking the sled? Load up sled. All right, you load up sled and make your way off. The dogs follow me. Let's go. Oh. So, uh, all right. I uh, like Nikolai alluded to earlier. Daylight is only four hours a day. Not long this time of year. Ooh. So the sun is already low. No. But visibility will remain good since the moon is bright and almost full. The white landscape is reflective enough. Okay. Remember, doctor, because I'm assuming it's pretty windy and stuff. Remember, doctor, there's a clock in your heart. Follow that, not sky. Clock? Internal clock in heart. It will tell you when time to sleep. That's not, not, not the time now. I really need an internal compass right now. Oh, sense of direction. We left the navigator back back at the place. Yes, we left him back there. Are you he going the right way? He pointed this way. How do you know this is correct? I remember. He pointed this way. <sighs> he point. I can see track where previous person had been this way. We go this way. Don't think. All right. No, you can't see it under snow. I see it. You just trust this, Nikolai. Who else do we have to trust? The two pilots that can't agree? He's right. right. Not many good option. Perhaps the monkey. <laughs> No, monkey God die in blink runners. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, you will need to bring several of the gas heaters with you. And light. Just in case something goes wrong. Is there light? Um, there are two electric torches. It's daylight now. Four hours. But not for four hours. It's sun is setting. 20 minutes at walk. 20 minutes might be the sun setting. More like 20 hours. 20 minutes doesn't get us 100 kilometers. <laughs> um, so as you... Approach the four kilometer mark. Uh, Nikolai sees something in the distance. Wait, wait, I see something. Is it the base? No, no, no. I see. No, it is not the base. It is, it looks to be a man. What? He's see a, a dark figure. He seems to be walking this way. But tell him to turn around. Turn around. This is a help. He might be from the base. We well, should I, get his attention. Where would he be walking to? Come to get us. He probably saw a plane crash. So um, as he's talking, the storm rages up a little more and visibility drops. Uh, you look in the direction he indicates and can see nothing. Perhaps no, no, we shouldn't I, have trusted the half-blind Russian. Not blind, not blind. Nikolai Plame, but I see it very well in the snow. Uh, trust me, there are men ahead. There is man. Ragnar, do you see the man? I look to Ragnar and point in the direction. Does he see or smell anything? Um, he seems fearful. Ragnar, what's the wrong, boy? You do not feel well. You not like the man. Can I look at Ragnar and see if he seems fearful of the of, of what he sees or anything? He Does definitely he have... felt something. I, I, I tell you, though, I start to whisper. I do see something, but Ragnar un uneasy. It's very strange. Usually dog like Ragnar love people. Do you continue forward? Perhaps You're not we... quite at the four kilometer mark, but almost. C can you see any sign of the base? I it... look for signs of base. Anywhere. I'm gonna look around for signs of the base. Okay. Um, you think you might see smoke in the distance, but it's really tough to tell. Thank in the you, snow, Mike. it's very hard to see, but black smoke on the horizon. Don't know why base would have smoke like this. Unless they build fire for warmth. I could really use that right now. Sure. All right, well. <clears throat> Does the uh, shadowy figure that I seem to see seem to be walking towards or away, or is it just standing? Um, It looked like it was walking away. Perhaps that figure trying to go to base... We follow at the distance. Where could he be coming from? Why is he out here? I don't know, my friend. 
Is he walking right. away or towards the base? He seems to be walking towards the uh, base. Let's go and get help, I suppose. All right. Nothing else to do. So back that way or forward that way. But first, dogs. It's dark and cold in every direction. You keep it down. No yipping. No yowling. We, we, we follow him slowly, quietly. Okay. You go forward. Um. Mush. <laughs> no, no mush. <laughs> it no is mush. now dusk. Uh, and you do come across a camp. Uh, the camp has seen better days. So there are, uh, a couple large wooden structures. Uh, there are, um, there's a tractor. You don't see signs of people or sled dogs or any signs of life. Um... It looked like there were six directly connected uh, wooden, like, rooms. But only two of them are still standing. Uh, the others, you can see where they were, but you see, like, splinters out in every direction. Uh, you see wood and items flung as if there was some sort of explosion. Um, any signs of light or heat or Smell. energy? Yeah, where's the smoke coming from specifically? The smoke seems to be coming... So there's a, a room closer to you that's directly connected to the one beyond it. The smoke seems to be coming from that room beyond. There is a light uh, in the room in front of you. The door is open. Does Ragnar or any of the other dogs seem iffy to approach any of this? Um... No. We must get out of cold. We don't know what's in there, but we must get out of cold soon. What about the uh, the the pilots, the, the tractors here? Perhaps we should use it to go fetch them. But first, we must establish that camp out. is safe. Or drag the plane out, sure. So just look here first. We must look first. We don't want to bring them to a more Hello! dangerous. Oh my goodness! Uh, so you approach the. <laughs> Uh, uh, the door to room one. You notice it's open, and there's blood around it. Hello. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor, uh, I'll, uh, there's blood. Where are the dogs? Um, are you like leaving them on the outskirts of camp, or are you bringing them with you? Maybe we'll leave three and bring Ragnar with us. So, okay. Oh, oh, all right. Or just bring them all. I don't know. There's, there's the sled. Are we detaching them from the sled? Well, uh, one of the things you want to watch out for, there is a lot of debris, so you don't want them to get anything in their paws. Yeah. All right. Well, bring them within, like, eyesight, I guess. Where there's a line of sight to them? Yeah. Don't leave them, like, way out in the middle yeah. of nowhere? Yeah, like, I guess. Dogs like, strong. Love cold. They'll be okay. Like, if you had a car, you'd take it as far as you could, but you wouldn't run over, like, weird barriers yeah. and stuff with it, right? I wouldn't want to drive over, like, razor wire and Sh sure. stuff like that, but... Okay, so are you leaving all of the dogs out of the camp? Yeah. Ragnar, you stay with them. Protect your friends. Okay. We'll go ahead. Okay. I know. No. So how far back no, is that? Friend. Is that outside the camp, or is it, like, there's too much debris to get them in? Um, you would be worried about them stepping on something. Um, but, yeah, I, I okay. would say, like, a hundred yards outside of camp. All right. Maybe Pretty 50? Far. It's as close as they can get. That's as close as they can get. All right. I mean, you could bring them closer. You would just risk. Sure. I will, uh... Right now, the dogs are our lifeline. Take my... I'm not my... sure we can start that tractor easily. Sure. The fuel's even ready. Uh, I'll grab my doctor's bag. Perhaps okay. someone might be injured. We right. uh, we look, we're looking. Or at least I would like to look wherever the blood is on the floor. All right. Uh, can I notice any type of trail, or does it seem like someone bled here and was moved? Anything like that? So the first thing that you notice is uh, scratches on the door, like large scratches. How many scratches? Oh, like, uh, are the scratches on the inside or the outside? They're on the outside of the door. All right. 
My friend, my friend, look. You see scratches. How many nails? Um, it looks like it's, like, scratched up. Um, probably by multiple things. You remember story from Pilot? Polar bear. Polar bear? These the scratches, very big. So the polar bear came and tried to eat the, the, the house? So the door is open. Um, even without going inside the room, you can see it looks like tables um, were placed to try and bar the door, but it seems like they were pushed inside. All right. That's pretty much all you can see without going inside, although it does appear that there's some sort of gas lamp inside that's illuminating thing. My friends, before we go in, perhaps we do so safely. And I pull out both revolvers, spin them in my hands, go in through the, through the door. <laughs> I was worried he's going to grab the dynamite. Yeah. <laughs> I got that, just in case. <laughs> All right. I follow with my doctor's bag. Okay. I'm holding it. <laughs> All right. Um, the room is completely ransacked. Uh, not only are the tables pushed away, m much furniture is overturned. There's a broken chair. There's blood splatters on the floor and wall. There's torn clothing. Um, you don't see any um, signs of life or corpses currently. Just so lots much, of blood. So much blood, no body. Doctor, uh, what do you think happened here? Hmm. And the Moltak, usually they're a carcass. Someone can make a pool to find an additional clue. That's harder to spot. My hands, full of revolvers. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> you bastard. <laughs> um, is it something that could be smelled by Doggo? Well, the, uh, there's no dogs in. Leave dog. Oh. We tell them to howl if they we get brought, trouble. I thought we brought Ragnar. Okay. No, he told Ragnar to defend the, the, oh, the okay. pack. Ah. Um, well, I'm holding on to my, uh, doctor's bag, so it's tough for me to look around and investigate. Uh, John, maybe you should look around a bit. I Jonathan. suppose, being of empty hand, I shall volunteer my own. Okay. Bring guns next the, time. You have the good, the good gloves, too, that look around. While he's doing that, oh, uh, the right. room... I know that they're that much better. Yes, they're very... I'm... Eric, you're fucking me up. <laughs> <laughs> they're quite nice. Uh, so while he's doing that, um... Oh my god, I believe in you. I believe, Calvin. I believe. I believe. Uh, always push from the downhill side. Tap, tap. I just want to let you know I'm, I'm watching what he's doing carefully. Am, am I getting any types of None headaches of at all? By chance? Um, yes, I would say so. Mm -hmm. Um. All right. You... And would that assist in the uh, looking around at all? It would. Would that be useful at all before Jonathan pulls his 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 tower piece? <laughs> yes, it could. Oh, Jonathan, hold good. Hold up, Jonathan. It's too damn late. <laughs> all right, never mind. You think too slow. <laughs> forget, forget it. <laughs> I wanted to save a spot for later. Okay, I found another spot for later. <laughs> all right. Very loose already. Good. Oh my god. Remember, <laughs> as you put new pieces on top, push them <laughs> towards Ivan. <laughs> the whole tower is shifting. <laughs> <laughs> Ivanovich, last name. Nikolai, first name. <laughs> You're confused by the dog. <laughs> yeah, you're right. All right, so. Name um, the dog, Ivan. Um. Jonathan picks up uh, Jonathan yes an extra clue um so Jonathan you you pick up a um uh, scraps of a shirt mm. that look very familiar to you um you think that this is from a shirt that you gifted someone at one point Jonathan why you look at the shirt like that under the shirt is a paw print Bloodstain. How big of a paw print? It's bigger than the dogs with you. So bigger than a husky. 
Like those are full-size huskies outside, right, Nikolai? Oh, yeah, they're full-grown. Like, they're not puppies. Not like, puppies. All right. <laughs> you said that like him. I know. It keeps fucking me up. <laughs> it was easier on a, on a thing where everyone yeah. was doing the same thing. <laughs> sure. All right. Jonathan, what is this shirt? It looks familiar, but I'm not quite sure. How could it be familiar? You've been here before. Not tell me. I, I have not been here before, but... You know someone? Someone I know, I think, is here. Well, someone you used to know by look at this shirt. Charles oh. grabs his head. Hopefully Sorry. not. <laughs> In pain. Charles, what happened? Oh, just, just a headache. You have a headache now? Yes. Rather bad, but... Did you inhale smoke? He, um, oh. was also grabbing at his throat. It felt like, uh, you were being bitten. Ah. <sighs> Does he look Are like he's Are you all right, being... Charles? No. What's happening? Uh, um, oh. Uh, perhaps we should, uh... You hit your head earlier. You okay? Uh, I'm, I'm gonna walk outside for a moment. <laughs> Get fresh air. The dogs! They need their help! Quick! Uh, Get your fresh air go help. Right. We help dog! <laughs> so, do we run, run to the dogs then? Hurry! They seem to be in distress. What's the doggies doing? Ragnar! <gasps> Can uh, we hear that from the house? Yes. Are we are we heading that way? Uh, so, um, are are you going outside to check on the dogs, or are you going to go into the next room? What, what, I've made a. Is the what? <laughs> what? The sound is coming from the dogs, right? Yes. Okay. Well, why would I go in the next room? <laughs> Ragnar, what's wrong? Is this the do this is our dogs that are growling at us? Okay, so. Okay, I'm sorry, I, I was confused. So you run outside? Uh huh. Okay. Yes, I run outside. Yes. Ragnar, he's yes. my friend. Um. So you see. I'll follow Nikolai. Um. You see, three wolves attacking. The dog. Istosha! I had put up my uh, revolvers and fire at the wolves. Okay. Um. So you need to make a pool for one or for two fires. Don't don't ask. Just make a pool. <laughs> make a pool. <laughs> don't give does, him ideas. <laughs> does he need to pool as being a an army veteran soldier man? Well, See very well in the ice. So so there's a like a fight going on with them. So it would be hard to miss. There's always a fight in war. That's the point of war. <laughs> yeah, but, but he's 50 yards away with a with two pistols. I thought we were getting closer. All right. We were 100. Ah. <laughs> uh. It's terrifying with the delay. <laughs> I would like the army person to live a little longer. <laughs> Man, nothing's budging. No, it, it's high up. It's towards you. The, the, the left end is sticking out a little bit. Yeah. Okay. I, I guess take that one. <laughs> oh, jeez, I saw the whole pile wobble. <laughs> <laughs> Which means a lot. Uh. Dog. Oh, Eric. <laughs> oh, God. You can always push it back in and get another one. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that one. That's the one that I meant. Uh, Let's blast these fools! <laughs> careful walking! Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna start jumping up and down and drawing falls I over. did it! Uh oh, jeez. Oh, fire! I thought the tower fell. Yeah. Get away from dogs! <laughs> Alright, so, um, you fire. Um, are you... So, with both, both pistols, are you aiming on one wolf at a time? 
Uh, I would say I would uh, fire at the one that's... Uh, like, are they all being attacked all at the same time, or...? So... I would uh, fire at the most aggressive, or the one that I would perceive to be the alpha. Okay. All right, you do so. Um, how many... So, you fire two shots into it. Um... <laughs> Uh, it, um, they, bo- it- um, they both impact, and you see blood. Uh, the wolf sort of looks at you for a moment, and then begins to run off, and the other wolves follow. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go up to the dogs and try to see if there's, if they've been injured, if, uh, they need anything. Yeah, so, um... All right, I'm I'm following. I'm right behind you, Nikolai. I'm gonna holster my weapons. Be, be on lookout. Actually, I will Maybe toss keep one to, out. I'm gonna toss the doctor one of my revolvers. Here, take. Go. <laughs> <laughs> and put the other one away and go up to the pick of the dogs. <laughs> so, um, Wait, this face. So what's wrong with him, right? <laughs> one of the dogs, um, has has its throat bit. Oh goodness, goodness. And um, good pup, good pup. Cannot be saved. It is okay, Pop. Uh, is he currently still alive? Dying? Dead. Dying. Dying. Uh, Ragnar has a very small bite on, like, his nape. But okay. it, it seems not life-threatening or anything. I uh, pick up a little bit of uh, snow, uh, impact, and put a little bit of pressure on him. Okay. It's okay, Rag. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, so even me taking a look, like... There's not much I can do with the one dog at all. It's not much you could do with the one dog. Uh, uh, you can look at Ragnar if you want. Sure. Hey, Ragnar. Doctor, you would assume we put pressure on the wound. Well, yes. Uh, yes. I could use a bandage on him if you wish. You take Ragnar help. I help this dog. You oh, I, All right, I'll look at the other dogs. Yeah. I don't or- really want to role play this next part, but I would, would want that dog not to suffer. I understand. <laughs> yeah. And being a battle-hardened <laughs> Russian veteran, I don't think that it would affect me too much, but I also don't want that animal to suffer. So, um, uh, Charles, uh, you, you examine Ragnar, and there's very little blood. Um, it doesn't af- appear like, you know, his spine or anything um, important was damaged. Um, there are bite marks that you can see, and a little bit of blood. What's more puzzling is um, among the bite marks, there appear to be some other marks as well. They almost look like... Um, they're very like small in diameter, and there are like three of them, almost in, in a line. Okay. It's not something you would recognize as a dog bite. Like an injection? That's the first thing that comes to your mind. All right. It's on how many dogs? It's just on Ragnar. Charles, is Ragnar going to be okay? Actually, um, it, uh, if you do examine the, de- the dead dog, um, it has it as well. The mm-hmm. other dog's have no marks on them whatsoever. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. There's a, some, I think Ragnar's all right. Uh, he has some odd marks on him though. You ever seen marks like these before? Uh, not from a, a wolf bite. Yes, I would say, what wolf has needle? Yeah, I don't, I don't know what they are. Strange for wolves to be this deep in well, Antarctica. They're, they're in a line, and it's very odd. Don't you think so, John? John? Are they puncture wounds? Of some sort, yes, but... But not teeth. I can't imagine a, a wolf doing this from the wild. Do, uh... Do I notice, uh, Ragnar acting in a different way than he normally does, despite his friend passing? Uh, I mean, he's very shaken from very the shaken. encounter. Gotcha. His tail uh, up, down, anything like that? I'd say it's between his legs. Between his legs. Ragnar very shaken, very scared. Maybe not just a wolf. 
Not just a wolf? What does that mean? Don't know. Usually, dogs like this recover quickly from attack, but his tail down. What are these markings? I don't you, know. You, you also right. shot the wolf twice. More? Perhaps we should uh, head back into the uh, base here. We, we bring dogs with us this time. Uh, I, I would say yes. Come, boys, come. Okay, you uh, run inside with um, with the dogs. Uh, there's no way to shut the door to room number one, but room two does have a shut door in front of you. We go further in, yes? Um, Make a barricade. We we'll and... might be back. Do the dogs look odd inside room one? I'm sorry, do the dogs what? Do they look odd inside room one or anything? Are they sniffing around? Are they sad, upset, mad, growling? Um, They hate their lives right now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, they're sniffing around. Um, they definitely are focusing on the blood. Okay. Um, Natoshi, Toshi, comes, comes, comes. Um, Get away from blood. They uh, definitely seem afraid. Nikolai, perhaps we should uh, check out the next room. Yes, yes, we go to the next room. Do you, Do you wish to go with your guns? Well, I give you a gun as well. I can hand it back, yeah. Oh, good idea. I take it back. I'm sure you're much better a shot than I am. I would have missed those wounds. You not shoot before. much, huh? Uh, not typically, no. I learned how to shoot. Here, I'll, 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 visit America. I'll, I'll, I'll try the door. I'll look after Ragnar. You can have your gun. Very well. Here you are. Oh, I have to actually take him. Just, just don't shoot me. What? Don't, don't what? throw Ragnar. <laughs> have you held this dog? No. Here, John. Do, do not fat shame Ragnar. Huh? <laughs> He's healthy. Healthy weight for he the cold. He's a chunky boy. He's a heavy doggo. He needs to keep on healthy amount of fat in the cold. All right. All right. I uh, there, there, have right my on. revolvers again, and uh, I'm gonna, you know, slowly try to look into the second room. Okay. Um. So, uh, uh the door is locked. Oh. Um. Hey, Mac, um, can, uh, can you go get the puzzle for me? Thank you. Pardon? The, the what? Uh, do I notice if, like, the hinges are on the other side of the door or on this side of the door? They're on the other side. Hmm. <laughs> well, door locked. Um. Is it? The one... Did we bring axe with us? Yes. Um, I don't believe so. Last I saw, you had the axe. Oh, I just happened to have axe on my back. Good scene. Uh, I could try to use the blunt side of the axe to hit down on the doorknob to see if I can break the, uh, the bolt. Um, we may want that room to be able to shut to keep the wolves out, though. No point if we can't enter. Uh... Maybe you could knock. You, you can look around for a key. We look around for key, or we knock. Uh, we can look for a key. That's fine. You look for a key. I knock on door. Ragnar, do you see a key? <laughs> I'm gonna knock with the butt of my gun. Okay. Um. You do so. Um. I'm sorry. Who, who's looking for a key? Doctor. Doctor. I guess okay. Ragnar and I are I, looking I, yeah, for a key. Yeah, I guess we'll both look for a key. Okay. Um, Perhaps it's out here in this room that we're in. So Charles, um, near the front of the door, you move some of the tables and things. Um, it looked like um, some water spilt. And um, because the cold air got in and everything, it, it froze. But looking close you see the key inside the frozen ice. I'm so happy. It's like a frozen so ice. With this. What the hell? Oh my god, be careful by the tower. Ragnar here. Go over to John. Oh. <laughs> Good boy, Ragnar. They keep key and cup. What the? No, I... Oh. I... 
Coincidentally, I, I thought that was a good place to hide my key. I found the key. What the hell am I supposed to do with this? Use it on the door. It won't fit. The howls are getting closer. The howls are good. You're not here. Can I smash on the floor? <laughs> Don't break your teeth, Aaron. <laughs> Maybe you can look around the room for like an ice pick or something. Oh, we have an axe. Or an axe. C could you axe this into a pot? Yes, hold above head. No, no. To... Oh. I just set it on the ground. Okay, no fun then. Put on ground. <laughs> you smoosh it. You're Every allowed I... to look in the studio for yeah. something. I'm oh, knocking on door. You get key. All right. I'm... <laughs> You have to do it, man. <laughs> Aaron. Away from the Jigga Tower. No, nope, right here. <laughs> no. Uh, Are we we filmed this and filmed the Jenga Tower. Do we see it? Are we on the right overlay? Yeah, we are. Oh, God, Aaron. Oh, it's God. wiggling. Do one big one, Aaron, not a whole bunch of little ones. One big one might make that fall. Harder! Let me see. Let me get the tower, too. I've got that. There. Yes! I got the pot out that matters. <laughs> 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 Put it in the door! Quickly! The ice cube on the door! Nikolai! <laughs> Nikolai! 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 Damn it, Aaron. It's eyes, <laughs> the house, they get to Don't they break get the key. Louder, hurry. Oh, the tower. The, t the tower is moving. It's <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> <That's> almost. <laughs> Stomp on it. Hit the ice. I... Oh no. There you go. We got it out. <laughs> That's all that matters. <laughs> quick, get key. Go in the door. Quick, quick. You lost it. You lost it. All right. You uh, use the axe, the blunt end of the axe to shatter the ice. Gaining the key, unlocking the door, you find yourself inside now with the dogs. You close it um, behind you as you hear wolves enter in the other room. Lock it again. Lock it back up. They cannot get key. Wolves do not know how to break ice. <laughs> oh, they're mad. They cannot get in. <laughs> Screw you, dog. You hear them scratching at the door, but it seems to be keeping them at bay. Can I look out a window or a keyhole or crack under the door or anything? For um, what? What uh, are you looking for? Back uh, to room one. Uh, are they retreating or how many are there? No, no. Um, you can hear them like barking, carrying on, clawing at the door. Um, they're they're not giving up. Seemingly, for the time being. Well, at least they're not heading back to the plane crash. <sighs> so, room two. Yeah. Um, this was a study. Let me go ahead and keep having so. uh. Calm down, Ragnar. Uh. Uh. Yeah, um, your huskies are howling as well. It is natural for them to, them to how. <laughs> okay, what type of uh, study can we tell? All right, so there are two desks and some cabinets. There's a door that you would think it would lead to the outside, but by seeing the outside, you know there's no room there anymore. Okay. So it's just going to go to the outside. Okay. <clears throat> okay.
Okay. So that was where it was blown up. Be there's, quiet, there's... Ragnar! <laughs> Shh. Shush! Shush! Um, wait, what? What was blown up? What do you see? On the other side of door, there would have been room, but no room. It's gone. All right. But there are desks and cabinets in this room. Is that door locked as well? I'll go check. Uh, I'm gonna go and just turn the knob. Or try to. Uh, it is locked. Door locked. It looks like it fits the key. That you... We could try open. No, I think we'll, we should wait. There's wolves out there. Let's look around room, see if anything we could use. As you're expect inspecting that door, you hear claw marks trying to claw its way in. It, it seems like they're trying to find other ways into the room. Oh, the dog's around us. We should hunker down here. We should be fine as long as they don't learn to open doors. <laughs> <laughs> I watched the rust. No, I can. <laughs> it doesn't work. Never mind. <laughs> All right. Uh, what else is in this room? Is there anything we can use? So we're pretty. Sec we we feel like the doors are pretty secure. It seems to be. Okay. Uh, there are cabinets and desks, so you could look around them. There's a bunch of papers around. Things like that. Um. Is there any sort of log or record of what happened here? Okay. That kind of log. Uh, well, you find research note. Oh, look, I, I find note here. <coughs> you want me to read what it says? Um, sure. It says. If, if you can read it. Well, I'm not, I know. It, is it's it in, in, Russian? in Russian? You said you couldn't no, read English. English. What, what language is it in? It's in English. Oh, I cannot read this. I'd bring it to you. Sure, sure. I'm sure myself or Jonathan could read it. I only... If you find note in the Russian, you hand it over, huh? Yes, if I see anything in Russian, we'll be sure to give it to you. All right. It says, Fossil found in Sector 4. Age in the millions. It looks like some sort of scarab or beetle. And it says, Next drilling site, two kilometers north. Did you say fossil? You find fossils yes. in Antarctica. Fossil. Mm. Not often any forms of life found here. This must be very old. Old the fossil. Um, is there a date or anything? As a as a geologist, can I uh, discern what kind of beetle it is, and uh, know if it's actually supposed to be there or not? Sure. Um. You would need to make a pool. Uh, wait, as, Damn. A, as a geologist. Yeah, yeah. take Ragnar. All right. It's going to soak if that falls and our dogs eat you. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, uh, Ragnar uh, lays down. Lays down? Yeah. Oh, Ragnar feeling tired. I'm Do gonna, I notice any change in his breathing? I'm going to uh, listen to his heartbeat. Oh, okay. Um, his heartbeat sounds faster. Like it's rapid. All right. But he's not panting. Just check some other things. Dilation of eyeballs. Ragnar, you was a good um, boy, Ragnar. I'm going to pet Ragnar. It's good. It was good to pet. So he he seems to have... He's like, like staring at something that isn't there. Like his eyes are razor focused on something, but you don't know what that is. Is his nose wet or dry? <laughs> uh, it it's hot. Hot nose. All right. I don't know much about dogs, but dogs' noses are usually supposed to be cold. I think. Uh... I I have a feeling he's not feeling well. I agree. Uh, perhaps Nikolai would like to hold him for a while. No, I'm good. <laughs> you're, you're good, all I'm right. I'm holding revolvers sure, as I'll I sit. just uh, <laughs> leave him over here lying down. Okay, so, um, Jonathan, you made the pool? Yes. Correct? Okay. So, um, <clears throat> you've never seen this particular specimen before. Like you said, it does appear to be some sort of scarab or beetle, but... It is um, undiscovered. 
whatever it is. Hmm. Um, you can't tell too much from the drawing more than that. Um, other than you would not expect it to be found anywhere near this location, and it's unlike anything you've ever seen before. Jonathan, I never see bug in the Antarctic. What is this? No one has. It shouldn't even be here. You got Just... all that from that pulling of the tower. <laughs> Pretty sure I could... so. <laughs> Actually, I would have assumed that anyway, <laughs> given that it was a big deal to keep digging. It seems previous team found a new discovery. <clears throat> um, this is exciting too, you know? So you find... Uh, well, let's see. No, you haven't found that yet. Never this mind. entire experience is not what I would describe as exciting. Oh, it's very exciting. It could be boring. <laughs> um, is this camp where we're at now the the dig site for this? Like, where where did this get dug up? So there's this camp, um, which would have been the drilling site. For that fossil. All right. Um, so and somewhere nearby, there's a big hole. And the note mentions a new drilling site. Two kilometers north. Two kilometers north. For, a, for another hole. Do you think there are people at this camp? At the other one? At the other camp. There don't seem to be anybody here, except vicious wild is, dogs. Is there no date or anything for this? For, um, this, for this log? Like, is this last week or... Today, or any day. Ragnar begins to growl. Nikolai, shoot him. <laughs> what? <laughs> and the other dogs move away from him. Ragnar, what's wrong? Well, I don't know. There's old things. Wolves have killed stuff, and he has weird marks on him, and I don't like it. You just shoot when you are ignorant. All right, well, you keep an eye on him then. <laughs> is, I, I, I know, uh, is Ragnar wearing a collar? Yes. Can I grab the collar and twist to restrict his airflow? <laughs> uh, you grab down. You need to make a pull. I'll make a pull. Damn. Yep. Good luck. I'm not afraid. He's my friend. Yeah, I think we would have. You would. You could have. <sighs> I think he would have shot me if I started growling. Maybe we could let him outside. <laughs> I do have the key. <laughs> Perhaps he just wants to fight to get a little even. Maybe he's hungry. I've bought bad feeling about this. Oh, good call in, Nikolai. Oh my gosh. Because <laughs> you give me the gun, I'll shoot him. <laughs> <laughs> I would, I would. Give him the dynamite, if nothing else. Glad I put Ragnar right next to the, the tower. Jeez. Oh, gosh. I'm not so quick to shoot dogs. <laughs> If he has to get shot anyway, we're wasting a lot of tower. I'm just telling you that. For this, for this beetle reading and... <laughs> Alright, um, so you grab onto Ragnar's collar. Twist, restrict airway. Twist, uh, start to choke him out. You must do, you must do. Um, you see, like, his muscles strain, but they seem to, like, enlarge a little. And he gets much stronger. And you see, like, you swear you see something moving under his skin. I pull out my hunting knife. Okay. All right, stab him then. I noticed something. Hold what? him down, hold him down. What? Hold him down. Get on top of the dog. Uh. <laughs> Hunting knife, and I'm gonna carve out whatever's moving under his skin. 
you, what do you mean whatever's There's under something his in skin? skin. We must get out. We must get out. It's in. It's in. It's in. Uh... There are many scary things happening behind me. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I have a feeling he's not going to go along with any sane or reasonable plan. Maybe we should just let no, it no, happen. Give let up him too quick. Cut open give the up. Dog. You All give right. up too quick. I guess if. Alan probably has one. I have one. Well, this is from. The, does a doctor have this kit? Yeah, this is a doctor's kit. Doctor, give me a kit, give me a kit! Um, Reduce it, Uh, Mike's kit? I had one, I don't know the other one. Where's the other one? Are you sure you want to do this? It is not about being sure, it's about being a good friend. You. Would you rather me do this? You have steady hand. I'm a doctor. You have a doctor, I hold down. We right. get out whatever you... it is in the little dog. Don't let him bite me then. What do you have? We are survivors together. Let's scalpel. See. Looks like gum. Where's the scalpel then? Yeah. What? It's okay, the Ragnar. You'll be okay. After doctor help. I see the frantic energy is getting everywhere. He's getting the. Uh... He's getting the scalpel ready. Oh, good! Uh, he, he's him, getting quite him. strong, quite big. We where, must hurry. Where is the bump? I I saw it wiggle around. Where did I see it wiggle? Um, near his ribs. The rib, the rib, the rib! We must hurry. He's getting stronger somehow. Oh, great. I twist, I twist it. Reach it out away. Not hurt, not hurt him. We must hurry, doctor. <laughs> no, no, no! You have technique, huh? Oh, hands, uh, hands very steady. It's very cold. You must, you must. But be careful, don't hurt him. Do. Huh? Google. Hold, hold him steady. What is it? What is it? Oh my goodness. Uh. Oh, what is that? Uh, this might just be a skin, maybe, I'm not sure. Don't his, touch his intestines. His skin. Well, I don't know where exactly. What do you feel, doctor? I don't know where this thing is that Reach you saw. In. Don't it is about it is there. What? I'm oh, sorry, I go back in the rush. <laughs> what the fuck is he saying? I'm not sure. Uh, oh, be careful, Ragnar! Well, there's a the skin gone. Well, I don't uh, see much of anything. This is this blue the door. We got to be careful. Do I cut in further? How are you Italian? What? Where are you from? I'm the room where I want to be. You get to the dog and I'm there today. We'll have to cut open. Your whole hand is in the Ragnar! We'll have to cut in further, I guess. What? <laughs> I don't what? know the point of this. I don't know what are we're doing. Are you sure this is where we cut? No, I'm not sure. What I'm, I'm even looking for. This was your idea! What did I see the, where did I see the wiggle? <laughs> there's, there's something there. All right. There's nothing up here. There's nothing up there either. Wait. All right. This is the wrong side. I, I, if you want to make a concerted effort to keep the dog alive, I need you to make a pool. You want to go over and make a pool? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you know I need a pool? I'm holding the dog down! Somebody need to make the pool! I have dog guts on my hands! I'll just cut him open and see what's inside. Quick, cut quick! Cut quick! And so we're not gonna save the Cut dog. quick! Alright, there we go. Cut it! Uh, what's wiggling in there? Find it! What is oh, that? There's goo. No, there's goo! Get the goo out! <laughs> that can't be good for Some it. of the goo is meant to be there. Uh, oh! <laughs> It's popping! It popped! Get it out! Get it out! Are we supposed to be the cutting? The goo out of the gut? That can't be good for right now! We are definitely not saving this dog. Get in there! Cut no, the, he'll be fine! Cut the dog more. What do we cut it that way? Get it that way! In here? Yes, get it out! <laughs> what do you think? Watch your <laughs> bloody intestine. fingers. Yeah, I know. What are we cutting into here? Nothing good. No. Oh, ah. oh careful, careful. Don't stick me. You pump it like a zit. Just, just pull the whole thing out. Uh, oh, it's like a cesarean. Uh, if we have to, we can always... What, uh, what is this? this? What is this? It's a goo brain. This was inside of my Ragnar. So, Quick, doctor, get the stitches. I don't think there's anything else. All right. Uh, get the stitches. Uh, uh, this is not be good for Ragnar. Uh, it's, uh, it's okay. Put it back put in. Put your heart back in. <laughs> Sew him up. Get him sewed up. We have staples. <laughs> we'll, we'll look in this box. It's okay. It's okay. Good boy. Good boy. 
Perhaps I should have used more than a scalpel. There, there. Ragnar, fine. Look there, at there. him. He's happy. His tag, uh, his, his tail out. He stopped growling at what least. What is this? This looks like a brain. <laughs> I think it's part of... Well, Ragnar's fine. He's asleep. He's asleep. Dog guts. Is this the part I cut? You're sure mm -hmm. you saw something moving? Something moving here. I mean, Ragnar was alive and moving. No, no, no. You don't understand. Something under skin. What All is right. in here? How are we looking here? Uh, we must look. Uh, oh. yeah. What does it taste like? Taste? Taste it. You taste it. I taste. Not going to you taste are... this. No, don't taste it. I won't taste. I won't taste. Do... Oh my goodness. Cut here. Cut. Uh, cut that. Cut down here. Turn it. Turn him. Oh, look, no. Be careful. What? I he move. Sure. Sure. No kick. No kick. Oh. Is your scalpel down? I'm not sure. It's It's cutting a little. I guess I don't have to be too careful anymore. What is this? What is it? Look! There are little orbs! I see little orbs. You remember a story? It's orbs? The little, little, little ball. What story? The story from Pilot. The Pilot story? Pilot story. The polar bear, oh. they eat the orb. Was that the bedtime story? Yeah. I fell asleep. You want to remember? Here you are. Get it out, get it out. What is this? Yep. It's, um... It's there. It's quite a lot of goo. A lot of something there. Uh, oh, all right. Uh, oh, my goodness. Ah! Uh, oh, my the goodness. Orbs! The orbs! Look, little orbs! Ah! Uh, uh, they the, bounce on their own! The production of this is nuts. Ah! Uh, the look! Look at this! They're excited! Congratulations. This was uh, in Ragnar! It's a squid. No wonder he's so heavy. Uh, why? Oh my goodness. There are so How many orbs. Happen? I still don't see anything that was moving. Better cut into that too. Uh, cut in, cut in. Oh, good heavens. Use, use your dock. Uh, uh, get that off. The consistency of jail. Someone blows the nose and you want to uh, keep it? I recognize that. This looks like an intestine here. It does. Uh, ooh, fluff. The fluff There's in a it. lot of fluff inside, yeah. Fluff this inside. definitely isn't sausage. <sighs> There is a fluff inside. You feel anything? I would just find the part that has something... Something. Anything tough. Ugh. Anything hard. Yeah. This is disgusting. Wait, this wait, isn't wait, to wait, anything wait. There is something here. I feel. You, you, I feel something there. Ah! What is? What ah, is? It's a key. No. The it's a key. Ragnar what? swallow key. What? You took the key out of the ice and you give it to Ragnar. No, I think I still have it over there. Well, get key. Bastard. Ugh. There the is a key. key. We got key. Uh, it's two keys. Two keys. We have two keys. Why, why are they interlocked? I don't know. Take with you. Uh, Better check the other organs. Uh, we, more we, 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 the we, heart. we continue. I told you the heart. No, Ragnar, did kill him. Uh, uh, how, uh, how dead is Ragnar right now? Uh, <laughs> how dead is Ragnar? <laughs> no. Did you sew him back up like I asked you? Yeah, you would have had to make a pool to save Ragnar. We could have At this point? No, before. Earlier. Uh, earlier. We could have shot him and saved the Jenga piece. I mean, tower uh, piece. I'm going to admit, I don't think Ragnar going to make it. Probably not. You're not a very good doctor. Uh, so, yeah, You're wait. not a very good doctor. That's not typically inside the heart, is it? No, I've never seen a dog heart before, but this doesn't look like it either. <laughs> this doesn't look natural. Um. Uh, yeah. What is? What is? It's blood and guts. Blood and guts. What, what oh. is this? Oh, oh God. God. there's a big one. Ah. There's such a big one. Stop it! Watch me. Get the wizard with me. Get off me. It's biting yeah, my I gloves. I grab. I grab. I grab. It's biting my gloves. I grab. I grab. My gloves made Kevlar. Kevlar. We've made discovery. Is this the bug you saw? Is it? What? You, you saw, saw it. No, no, no. You bug on your research paper. Oh, That's yeah, not that a, a scarab. scarab. That looks more like a worm. I don't know. Is it alive? I don't know. It doesn't seem. Oh, so it is alive. Put it down. But I put it down. <laughs> <laughs> no, you... It was alive, and now you can. I don't want it living in me. It was making Ragnar terrified. Perhaps we. Either it's a tapeworm and it's dead, or whatever was causing him to go crazy and it's dead. Did this kill it? 
Do you think wolves give this parasite to Ragnar? You better check the brain. There's a brain? I mean, of course there's a well, brain. Well, I'm the doctor, of course. Oh. I knew that. Well, let me, what did you train? Let me look at his brain. What were you taught? I was taught... In the Russia, we all know. All living things have brains. Oh, we keep this to remember uh. Ragnar. It's uh. for you? It's for you. <laughs> <laughs> we, it seems like we examine all of Ragnar. Find out what happened. Uh, the other dogs are watching in horror. <laughs> P perhaps you're right. Behave or that's new next! Uh. No since Ragnar long gone. I'm glad I had all this in my doctor's bag. Okay, I get out the brain. Uh, I'm trying to make sure I don't point this at anything. This make you queasy. Uh, no, oh, look up. What? Uh, okay, uh, give, oh, I'm trying to feel if I can feel anything. Oh, dog. Uh, so just... Charles, yes. um, the brain looks not quite like a dog brain. What does this brain look like? Not like a dog brain. It's, it's not... like it looks odd. It looks more human. It does look a little more human than I would expect a dog's brain to look. I always feel like Ragnar knows me a lot more than more other dogs. Really? Uh, well, no. I'm going to cut right along the center. Why is this brain so human-like? And green. Ew. You never see inside the brain. It's green all the time. It's not typically this color. It's lots of Cut layers. Of, it's usually lots of layers of the exact same thing. I th uh, oh, it's all the, over me. The orbs. Don't eat that. I'm not going to eat. You were going to taste it before. Uh, there are more orbs in the brain. Uh, There's more orbs everywhere. So many orbs. Uh, 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 oh, uh, oh my goodness, look. Hang on, get ready in case look, there's more look, of those. Look, 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 Ah, there's the worm, grab the worm, Get the worm, get the worm. Pull it, pull it out. It's Don't worry about it. snap, just pull, just pull, there's just pull. More. We see, we see. Stop ah. it. We put on table, we put on table. Grab, grab, grab. Put on there, ah. put on there. There's so How many worms, worms are three there? Three wolves. Ah. What are you doing? <laughs> Searching for worms. There's no more, there's no more. We found three. Uh, oh, you're cutting them. How do you know? This what? can't be good. How can uh, you see worms in your head? Uh, the orbs, they're going everywhere. Ah! This isn't everything. Oh my goodness! There's a scarab in his brain! That is what you see in the research paper. This is. Is it a real one? It's a real one. Ah! Uh, stab it! Stab it! Stab it! Stab it! But this is much bigger! It has a hard outer shell. Yeah! But let us stab it, let, no, 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 let us let us enclose it, and so that it cannot escape. And then maybe we return to where okay, we in, you, in what? Do you have anything to put it in? Another dog brain? I, yeah, this is the inside of, of Ragnar's brain. We just put it back in there. It got in there to begin with. <laughs> I don't know. Is there like a? Uh, uh, we're in a lab or a study. Is there any type of quick? Like... Put it in Ragnar's hat. <laughs> That's a solution. Okay. What about the grubs? These are not grubs. I'll have you know. All right. Some. Ah. Will this contain the scarab? Ah. Yeah, you hold it. I'll hold. Yeah, you keep that. You guys can go clean up if you want. Let's maybe go talk about what just happened, and how amazing the production of this was. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry about this little hat. It's so cute, but it's really sticky right now. Okay. Ew. <clears throat> All right. Uh, okay. Jake, your point of view is broken, I think. <laughs> or is that... Oh, that's my screen. That's your screen? Okay. Okay, so we have a scarab inside of Ragnar's hat. Yes. Thank you, Maggie, for making the uh, effects, and Evie for letting me borrow her stuffed dog. <laughs> <laughs> Implying we're giving that back. <laughs> borrowing. Minus some uh, important organs. Okay, so what did you discover? Worms and a scarab. Indeed. Three worms, one scarab. Uh, uh, yes. What um, does this mean? 
So, uh, the scarab was in the brain and seemed to be either controlling it or altering it. Um, Ragnar didn't seem suspicious before that, but um, <coughs> Charles can definitely tell that, like, the brain, it was starting to morph from a dog brain to more of a human brain, or at least something that's capable of a much higher intelligence than a dog would normally be able to. The rest of the organs as well seem to be morphing and changing. Um, it seems to be the re result of those worms. But um, as you stabbed the scarab, you noticed that the worms twitched as well. So it seemed like they're connected somehow. Doctor, have you ever seen anything hey, like this? I got two keys. Yes, we, we, we got we had, them from inside we of We found Ragnar. these before as well, and I just took, they were together and I took them apart. Oh, uh, you got them apart? Good. I think I'm supposed to do that because they look like keys. They are keys um, to the tractor. Oh, you think Ragnar swallowed these keys? He must have found them outside while they were waiting, getting eaten by wolves. Do you think he swallowed both independently and they became interlocked, or did he swallow all of them together? Maybe the worms did it. Oh, the worms. Intelligent worms. You st we stabbed all of them, right? There's no more worms around anywhere, are they? I think we stabbed them multiple times. And we have the scarab, like... Inside the Ragnar's hat. Contain all right. The, um... Uh, during that whole chaotic scene, you were still hearing clawing and howling. Um, once you stab that scarab, that all stopped. And now you only hear the wind. I would like... to crack the door. Uh, which door? The the back door? The one to room one. The one to room one. Okay. Uh, you see nothing inside. The wolves are gone. There's the key for the doors. If you want to check the other door, that's up to you. You can look out there my, too. My friends, my friends. Would you share a moment of silence for our friend Ragnar? There you are. No, that's quite long, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the other dogs are freaked out but appear fine it's okay boys we not do that to you unless you act out no 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 to tease them <laughs> but perhaps we keep them here huh? come back later all right um isn't it dark out this scarab is dead right yes i don't know it appears to be did you notice that when we kill scare dogs outside, they go? I mean, I, I noticed the howling stopped. You think a coincidence? No, I, I don't know. There's something very strange going on. Second coincidence of the day. Two planes, they blow. And then scare We kill. Dogs leave. You think the scare crashed the planes as well? It would seem to be some type of connection. Is there? Are you superstitious, man? I'm a little stitious. You're little stitious. That's clever. I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's it's nighttime, right? Yeah, for like another nineteen hours, probably. Yep. Our friends back at the crash site, they'll be needing our help. Of course, but either we should wait until day, or we need to make sure we go get the tractor ready to go. You but still haven't fully explored this room. Let's finish looking at this room before we head out anywhere. <laughs> we clean up guts and, and various things. We finish exploring room. Y yeah. Uh, John, why don't you uh, throw all those things out the door? <laughs> Am I the scrap man now? <laughs> <laughs> no, My you're friends. just by the door with it open already looking out. Ah, oh, okay. That, that makes a lot more sense. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to bury the scattered remains of Ragnar. Bury them? Okay. Uh, so where? you're going outside? Um, I'm going to... <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go outside and bury the remains of Ragnar. Okay. All right. Use I... your lucky stick of dynamite. I have lucky stick. I will stay in here with the doors locked and look for any clues. Oh, I do have another one. Yeah, and then over there. Oh. Okay. Uh, in one of the cabinets, you find this. Oh my, what I find? Perhaps keep one door unlocked, or give us the key? Jonathan, I gave you the key. Very well. 
I will take a heater out and start to warm up the tractor. With the key. Oh. With that key? No. I'm taking this door key so that I can get back in if anything happens. Well, I'll be here. You can leave the key with me and I can let you in if anything happens. No, I would prefer to have it. Well, I would like to be able to exit if I need to leave. I would like to enter in case I need to. Seems we're at an impasse. <laughs> perhaps I'll hold Since on Since I will be the one in danger, perhaps I should keep the key. You know, we were inside and we were in danger. But we're not anymore. Fine, take it. <laughs> Just knock three times and I'll let you in. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'll knock like this. That was more than three. Is someone at door? <laughs> <laughs> no, just bury the bury the dog. Okay, the ground's frozen. Well, yes, it's the Arctic. I the bury Antarctic. him in the snow. He loved the snow. <laughs> While you're burying him, um, Nikolai, you notice. Oh, it's okay, the Ragnar. Uh, so you're behind the building beyond what we're calling room number two, the study. And this next room would have been a storage room. It has been exploded, but there are a few boxes around that appear to be largely intact. Ragnar, I always remember you when I take good care of your pack. Oh, look, some boxes. I go over and uh, just have a look at the boxes. Uh, any markings or anything that could show me what's inside? One of them is marked explosives. Ooh. Hmm. Well, my honey knife. See if I can open up the box. It's locked. Oh, this. <coughs> oh, there seem to be lock, but there also seem to be key. Um, my instinct is to put this key in this lock <laughs> and try to open it. Uh huh. Is there anything about <laughs> what's happening right now that at all would make me doubt my plan? <laughs> it's been a strange day It's been a strange day <laughs> And I feel like this is the simplest thing that's happened so far So there was a key next to the box? Um, taped Taped to the box Okay I have no doubt Okay <laughs> It seems very much so like you have doubts <laughs> This key does not seem to fit this lock so, while you're figuring that out, uh, what's happening elsewhere? Um, what's, uh, what's my progress on the uh, warming the tractor up? Oh, if, if anything, Jonathan, you should have taken... Something here is related to the tractor. All right. Open up the tractor and get it started. Is it... Is it like a... Like a farm tractor? Or is it like a... Imagine tra no, so like it, track tracks. Um, right? It has a, a platform on it where you could connect like drilling equipment. There's not drilling equipment on it currently. Okay. Um, four people could fit inside this tractor. It's sealed. Okay. Um, and I figure it's not wheels, but more of like a track. Correct. Like like a tank. Okay. Like a snowcat, something yeah. like that. Yeah. Okay. Okay, uh, you begin to warm the fuel. What's uh, the doc good doctor doing? Uh, well, I'm all alone here, I guess, so I'll continue making sure there's nothing else in the study. Study. Let's see. I have to also wait and make sure I can let people in in case there's trouble. Um... And I assume the other dogs are in the study, right? Yes, currently. Wherever Probably. we dissected the dog, yeah, they which, were watching. Which Ragnar was bearing or whatever, right? There's nothing else of particular uh, note in the study. All right. What's his name was bearing, yeah. Um, I hear more dog. Perhaps I abandoned. No, I have to. The sounds are distant. But uh, grow slowly closer. What direction? Um, coming from the north. Gotcha. 
And our plane was south. Okay. The new dig site is to the north. Yeah. yeah. Two two kilometers. All right. Well, we I should, will. Uh, <clears throat> I will uh, get my bag in order while I wait for the other two guys to come back. In case they need to get in here real quick. Does the tractor start now? How is it for fuel? Um, you're going to need to put some fuel in it. Ooh, where's the fuel? Do you want to do this quickly? Uh. <laughs> I. You said they're distant. Can I see them? No. If you want to take your time, you don't have to make a pool, and you can find fuel. We could all do this together. You're cowering in the hot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I call out to... Uh, to Charles? To... Yeah. No. Nikolai. Nikolai. Okay. We named the dog Ivan, and it's... <laughs> <laughs> fucking me up. Okay. Well, my last name is Ivanovich. I know. <laughs> Your I last know. name is Ivanovich. Ivanovich. Have... Ivanovich. Iv- Ivanovich. All right. Uh, is he within earshot? Yeah. Through the wind and everything? Okay. I call out to him. Yes, what? what is it? How close are you to being done? I'm trying to open lock. I can get key and lock, but not come out. Just bring it to the tractor. We'll deal with it later. Bring whole box to tractor. Yes. Can I lift this box? You can. I bring box. <laughs> <laughs> it's um yeah it. It's like a a box um. It's like a storage crate, right? Yeah. But not like a pallet. No. It's heavy, and um made like, of wood. Like and a, like like a large ammo box. You could something. Burst the wood open, but because of what's written on the side, you think it might be better to open the lock. But if you want to make a pool, you can open it uh, instead with a little bit of force. <laughs> okay. So he brings box. Help me search for the fuel. Fascinated by this lock. It's only, like <laughs> nothing I've ever seen before. What country are you from? Me? Yes. I'm from Britain. Britain. Do they have locks like this in Britain? Padlocks. Sounds are getting closer, and the snow is falling harder. I'm gonna look at the door. Okay. You see a puzzled Russian fiddling with something? Or now, I guess it's... I give up. I give... I, I give to... I'll, I'll deal door. with this later. <clears throat> Perhaps you should hurry. There's a lot of wolf sounds out there. Oh, is that what the noise is? I believe so. <laughs> if it was being sarcastic, I know. <laughs> 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 All right, so the two of you looking for fuel? Or is Calvin continuing to heat? Uh, yeah, I'm looking around for fuel. Okay. Um, you are able to find some. Is there anything else you want to look at in the boxes? Uh, anything that I can do relatively quickly, if I can open boxes to, to see what I, what I find. <clears throat> Let's see. Um, you just open a couple at random. One has some clothing items in it. Okay. Um, another one has what looks like um, some bottles of kerosene. Kerosene, this could be good for heaters. Hmm? Uh, is it relatively easy to pick up and move? It's a hefty box. You could take a couple of the canisters. Um, you'd probably need help taking the whole box. I'd take one canister. Okay. You do, as you go and look for fuel. Okay. Um, which... Uh, you were able to find. Okay. And just as you're feeling that elation of a job well done, um, 
you see a shape not too distant in front of you. Oh, so I think I might see men again. It starts to run. Oh, is it running towards me or away? It's a wolf, and it's running towards you. It's not a man at all. It's a wolf. Uh, yeah, I, I, I book it to where are you guys at? I'm in the study. <laughs> He's at the tractor. Uh, I book it to the study while trying to say, Wolf, wolf, wolf coming. We must fortify. You don't think you can outrun the wolf? If not, outrun. Outgun. <laughs> <laughs> this is a terrible idea. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you need to make a pull. Okay. Um, it's pretty far away, right? The wolf? How close is it? It's getting closer. By it's the getting second. closer. So. Okay, I do have a rifle with me as well. I'm going to use the rifle this time. Okay. So does the rifle being a longer range weapon help me at all when it comes to this pool? It will do more damage to the wolf. All right. So it will take less shots. Now, my gloves were way too sticky to do Jenga. Okay. So uh, am I penalized now? Do I need to do the ice thing? Yep. All right. No. Do you, do you want some more gloves? Yeah. I have another pair of this gloves. I'm going to put my whole hand here for how long? I'll, I'll tell you when. What's it look like in there? It's looking real cold. <laughs> oh my god, okay. Done. Done. Ah! <laughs> Alright. Let's do this. Oh no, the one camera isn't working. Why did I do that? I feel like the coldness has uh, actually made me better at this. That's not much. Okay. Uh... Jake, one of the cameras broken. I don't know which one. That one. Okay. I have a plan. It's almost upon you. Beginning to fill your scope. It's not done yet till you put it on. <sighs> Bang! <laughs> right in the head. It drops huh. and skitters towards you. <sighs> um, but it's not alone. So I'm in. Okay, so I'm getting desperate. You're yeah. Uh, in my desperation, I have no idea what to do, and I just pull out Ragnar's hat and his scarab. I just hold it up, <laughs> just in sheer desperation. This is gonna do something. <clears throat> so they're far enough away that you can run now. Yeah, run! <laughs> Guess this isn't gonna work. I run! <laughs> <laughs> Nikolai, get back here! All I'm right. running! I run! I run! <laughs> So, um, Nikolai is running towards you, um, Jonathan. He's carrying a kerosene can in one hand and a large gas tank in another. Okay. Uh, there are three wolves chasing him. I've opened the box of explosives. What, what do I see? Uh, well... Oh my god, be careful walking by that. <laughs> Ooh. Which one is the lucky one? Uh, the single one, maybe? Perhaps? There's... There's What's that one? There's five sticks of dynamite. You also I, see I some other chemicals, such as acids, and others you don't recognize. Ooh, okay. Perhaps we could use... One of these dynamites to destroy the other wolves. What do you think, Ivanovich? If I'm being honest, those dynamites look quite nice. But not but as nice as this one. You're going to use your lucky dynamite. H how old is it? Uh, it's, 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 uh, they would say old enough. How many trips to the Arctic has it made? <laughs> the Antarctic? It's five so far. 
<laughs> is it sweating? <laughs> I think if I give it a good toss, it might explode. Let's try that. All right. Okay. A turn, and I just rocket this thing at, at in the center of the wolves as much as I can. All right. <laughs> you lit it first, right? Oh, it's You're gonna not like explode as soon as as soon as it you? jostles a bit. It's gonna explode. <laughs> sure, I'll light it. <laughs> yeah! All right. Do I need to go do another pool? Um. Remember, this is my lucky one I've had with me forever. All right. I will not make you make a pool. <laughs> oh my god, because I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you toss it, and with my lucky dynamite. Uh, whatever these wolves are now, there's still some wolf deep in them. Mm-hmm. As one jumps to catch the stick. Oh, no. why do you gotta hurt me here? <laughs> why? <laughs> it does not go well. Jancy came back too. <laughs> uh, is he is he bringing it back to Nikolai? <laughs> um, I don't think he's gonna make it. Oh, okay. Um. Nikolai is not as cruel to say, "Hit a boy, catch!" <laughs> <laughs> you uh, make it back to the tractor. <sighs> well, after all that, I have one jug gasoline. <laughs> oh, get her seen. Even better. Fantastic. Can I have one of those sticks of dynamite to replace your lucky one? Yes. Sure. Oh, this th- one's fresh. Toss it here. <laughs> Good catch, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm throwing dynamite. <laughs> all right. Um, you fueled the tractor. Um, Wait, are all the wolves gone? Well, well, some of them run away. Some might come back. They they sound distant, but they may be returning. The noise probably attracted them. Uh, so, um, Charles, you grab your head again. Okay. Um, you get flashes in your vision. You see, you see what looks like a tunnel with uh, pictures on the wall, and you see what looks like a temple, and you see, um, you see p- people being taken there, and your vision ends. Charles, you have that look on your face again. What's wrong? I'm in the study. <laughs> no, never mind. My bad. I'm just yelling at the door at you guys. I thought we were going to the so, study. How far yeah. away is the tractor from the study? Um, it's like 20 yards. Okay. Is, is the tractor ready? <laughs> You're staying in there until the very end, aren't you? <laughs> Someone has to watch the puppies. <laughs> Bring the dogs here. Put them inside the cabin. It's safe. All right. Yes, we have much more dynamite now. Very safe. <laughs> <laughs> Great. All right, I'll, I'll. Herd the dogs to the, to the tractor. Come on, Nasty. Come on. Come, come, dog. Come. I am your alpha now. And get them into the tractor. Yeah. Okay. You do so. I think we should be going. Is the tractor ready? It is ready. Do we have enough fuel and everything? Plenty of fuel. All right. Uh, we should head back to the, the plane, right? Yes. Yes. Hopefully, we try the, to, to recover the pilots. Get the pilots and the other pilots and the co-pilots. And hopefully. One of these two keys work. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we yes. have step, step, yes. step on the gas. Let's go. Okay, right. so you're heading back to where you crashed. Sure. Yes. Okay. Provided that we believe we have the fuel to do so. You believe that you do. Charles, you look sweaty. What's wrong? I just ran with these dogs well, back no, to the no, tractor. You, but something else. What's wrong? You, you, you seem pain. I just, there's... Some weird, really weird stuff going on here. Well, yes, so the crash and the dogs and the, the grub and, and, the, and the worms scarab. and the scarab. Something with the digging is not right either. Yeah. I, <laughs> this seemed to affect you a lot. I found this book that seems to be like someone writing about what's been going on, and they went from very excited about digging in the dirt yeah. to being like, get the hell out of here. <laughs> Run. Do you want to see? Well, I don't, I can't read English. All right, well, take my word for it. They are very scared by the end of this. On the short drive back, how about you read us some excerpts? All right. (laughs) I would love it if it's just, I'm very excited to dig in the dirt. (laughs) Now let's get the hell out of here. (laughs) We drilled in several locations. The samples agree with the professor's theory, but we still haven't found it. 
Hard to get it right when the landscape changes so much. Entry 1, no date. I have no idea who wrote it. Very odd. There's Indeed. another one here that says rock samples show we're close. We can barely sleep from the excitement. See? Yes, very excited sounds. We. And then the last page of this is slightly ripped and says, Run! Run without packing! May God help you! That escalated very quickly. He did? Yes. <laughs> very much so. Slightly <laughs> troublesome. So I think there's some sh stuff going on. We should get out of here immediately. It would seem that this well, I... research researcher dug up this bug, and this bug got into dog, and then dog eat. The researcher. Dog eat bug or researcher? <laughs> well, there seemed to be blood, but no body. So um, when he opens the journal, a uh, photograph falls onto the floor. Oops, sorry about that. That's... Pick up the oh, photograph. What, what, what is the photograph? Pick it up. Well, the view. Here, Jonathan. Jonathan. Hey. Do you care to explain why this is here? Well, I was about to bring it up in a different way, but apparently I'm very clumsy. It's, it's the reason why I recognize the shirt. Someone who was here is a family member. Family. Very I'm... important. Why you did not speak of this before? So is this their book? Someone else steer for a moment. <laughs> it looks like their handwriting. <laughs> <laughs> this was written in their hand. Hopefully, with his uh, realization of the danger, he escaped it. But the scrap of shirt, I'm, I'm very worried. Very worried that he might have been taken by these creatures, whatever they are. I fear things are worse to the north where they started digging again. It would I seem we would seems that might the be north. the origin. I'm not sure if this is the origin or up north is the origin. But they're very excited to dig more somewhere and it's probably up there. Um, so by touching the journal, um, you get a flash of, um, your brother. Uh, he, you, you see him in some sort of temple, and it looks like um, he is in a cage. Ah, oh, Jonathan, ah. you have looked like Charles. Ah. What's happened? Ah. I don't look like that. Oh, you look, you look a little like that. It's definitely my brother. Your brother? Yes. What's your brother's name? Robert. Right. Well, he's probably dead. We should leave. I saw him in a temple. He's alive. Was he dead in the temple? He, he looked to be <sighs> occupying the space in some way, possibly worshipping. Worshipping? He's a I, very religious it's man. It's a temple. I'm, I'm not sure. It was just a flash. Do you often have flashes of your brother during his religious services? N not specifically. This is the first time? D well, specifically that, yes. Oh. I don't have that. You don't, you don't have any- Charles, can you relate? Didn't you say you had some vision of someone walking in the snow? There was no vision, I saw. I didn't see anything. <laughs> your eyes, no good. All right. I see him in the snow very far. I I sometimes get f flashes of stuff as well. Do you? Every once in a while, yes. Uh, of what? Do you know what stimulates them? Typically, yes. Dead things. De you see dead, dead people. Stuff that's dead. Sometimes I see things from them. That's very compelling. They should make a movie about this in the future. Fascinating. Yes, they should. They, they should. should do that. But right now, we should... Focus on getting away from these wolves and whatever else is trying to eat us with these scarabs and get to the ship and make sure the pilots are yeah. right. We're still driving. All right, so... How long will it take? That's not dynamite. Um, 
Um, take like 25 minutes. You sure you're going the right direction? Jeez, it takes longer to drive back. It's uphill. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very low-geared tractor. <laughs> and there's a reason why snow dogs have been used for millennia. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so you do want to continue back to the plains? That's my thought. Uh, I want to make sure they're all right and stuff. But what, what, what if your brother are alive? We need to go get him as well. <sighs> it's... It's possible that we could lead them back there, and we don't have the space to transport everyone. You think wolves will follow us? Perhaps we should continue north. To the source. To your dead brother? Hopefully not. It's just a shirt. Um, uh, did you see all the blood and everything around here? Did you see all the blood from the dog? I'm quite certain someone died already by being bit. There were more than just him here. Surely... I'm gonna stick my head out the window and kind of look up at the sky and come back out and, and uh, come back inside and be like, actually, my friends, I think you pull, put us in the wrong direction. We're going north already. What? You do, you can't see very well, but north Are is where we're going. north already, Jonathan? It was not my intention, I assure you. Are you but sure? I, I think you're lying to me. Like Jonathan, you didn't tell me I trust you. I trust you. I look at his face. I trust Maybe his it face. was a subconscious decision. But I, I did not do it with the intention of charades or tricking you. you no skullduggery? No, no skullduggery whatsoever. I'm staying in the tractor. We're all staying in the tractor for now. No, when we get there. We're not there yet. Oh, good heavens. You two argue a lot. Nikolai, how much explosive did you find? Well, I personally didn't find any. I couldn't get key up. That's we, we have four sticks of dynamite and also. It some, is a British lock. <laughs> some scraps of fabric or leather. What? I'm I'm not sure. It was concealed very well. In this. Well, what is that? Looks to be a a a false dynamite casing. Did you give me yeah. real dynamite? Oh, it is. <laughs> yeah. Make an inspection. Still driving, I assume. What yes. Is, what is it, Charles? Just some type of fabric. You can make a pull. No, oh, that sounds dangerous on the course <laughs> of just trying to look at some fabric. Charles, I would not recommend a pull. <laughs> no, me either. Unless you... <laughs> I do not think I want to risk my life over this. I mean, you might be able to do the top, but I don't know, man. <laughs> it seems we have extra cloth now. <laughs> All right. There was also some acid in that case, too. And some acid. All right. All right. Is Here's that the deal. Is, is there also well, vodka in there? Based on what we find when we get there, we may use a dynamite to blow it all up and close it back up. I don't think it should be released. Once we're certain that there are no survivors... Yes, we must sure. look for his brother, Robert. Robert is a Do very I have your word? difficult name to say in the Russian. Um, yes, of course. Look me in the eye when you say that. <laughs> uh, we will make sure that it is a good time to blow everything up. That was a very pointed statement, you know. <laughs> I trust him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, as uh, you continue north... Um, you each are afflicted from more and more visions and hallucinations. Uh, uh, I, seem to, I see more things out there. Uh, Nikolai, you see instead of snow, it's turned to meadows and Whoa. a river, and you see human figures dancing. Oh. It has been a long time since I've had vodka. <laughs> what is this? What? I'm so. Nikolai. Yes. Are you alright? Yes. Are uh, you? There are flowers outside. Do you see? Flowers? Flowers. Jonathan, you what? see your brother um, riding on a camel through the desert? Well, the, the Antarctic is a sort of desert, technically speaking. Sure, yeah. But why do I see a camel? Do, do you see it? <laughs> no, I don't see flowers or camel. Uh, Charles, you see wolves in the snow, but they appear to be pulling your father. No, oh, just snow into with the wolves distance. out there. 
Are they chasing us? Pulling some... something. What the... What is it, Charles? With all this happening, I'm... I'm more certain that... the northern dig site is the source. I agree. We get there, we blow it up! We find survivors, we extricate them safely, and then we blow it up. Yes. I don't understand. Why is your father and your brother frolicking in meadow? Who? Oh, I'm sorry. That you didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, visibility at this point. Ah! I'm sorry. My gun go off. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Check the fuel tank and the hydraulic lines. We're all good. We're all good. Safety is... What was that? On. <laughs> <laughs> the hallucinations come... Come fast and quick. <laughs> now. Um, okay. Uh, at this point, the visibility is getting very poor. I can barely see med, though. Uh, you only see undisturbed whiteness until you reach the site. There are two vehicles. Drilling equipment. Blood and torn clothing in a hole leading underground. Is that where you think your brother is? I'm not certain one way or the other. But if we are looking for answers, they're most likely down there. Is it, is it just a, a hole, like straight down? Or is it like a cave? Are you leaving the tractor and looking? I don't know. What kind of we hole can I see from the tractor? I can apparently I can see blood. Can I stay by the tractor? Yes, you can. Like, um, whatever, wherever we've stopped, whatever we're doing. Look. Use the rifle scope to look closer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so the hole. Let's see. I pick it, up. I pick up rock, <laughs> and drop a hole. So it, a rock, it, which you found where? Well, it's more like impacted snow. <laughs> oh, all right. I pick it up over hole. I drop. Okay. Um, so it looks like the hole was expanded with dynamite. Damn. Um, there is actually another stick of dynamite here that Not, was, okay. um, uh, uh, left here. Yeah, I'll, I found this. I'll take it. I'll, I'll hold on to this one. There's also climbing rope attached to the hole. I have, I have. Dynamite. Did I, I hear a sound come back when I threw the thing in the hole? You did. You would guess it to be like a 15-foot drop. <laughs> Never mind. I was going to say I was going to be like, Charles, only four foot. Jump in. <laughs> <laughs> it well, is dark. Um, I want to look at the blood. Okay. Um, Just see what's there with the blood and the fabric and stuff. Sure. Does so, the cloth look like the cloth we found in the other place? Um, it looks like cloth of like, you know, winter clothing. Cloth. Okay. Uh, the blood, as far as you can tell, is human blood. Okay. It appears fresh. Okay. Are any of the... You said there's two other vehicles here? Yes. All right. One, are they warm? Like if they've got here sure. recently or anything. Uh, and two, like what kind of shape are they in? They're not warm. Um, they appear to be fueled, but you would have to warm them. Um, like fully fueled? You think so. All right. One of them is uh, similar to the tractor that you're in. Um, the other one is is more of like a, a large truck for transporting things. Um, Jonathan, perhaps we should uh, warm up this other tractor. I think it might have more fuel than what we've used in this one already. Perhaps we could use that to get out of here or take the survivors since we can only fit like four people in this one good thinking <laughs> <laughs> I'm so suspicious of you now <laughs> my friends I have made decision I'm going to take this rope tie it to tractor go down this hole 
Okay. All right. To to what end? Well, one, to the end of the rope. One, we uh, get out of these elements. It's very cool. Two, maybe your brother's down there praying. <laughs> praying. We have to go look. Well, should you we see anywhere else to go? Should we prepare these tractors for uh, uh, getting out of here? Well, you can do that as I go down hole. Okay, oh. you guys start at that. All right. While uh, he goes down the hole, you have an electric torch. Mm -hmm. So you can use that to see. Um, so it leads to an underground passage. Uh, the passage appears to be natural. Um, it's flat, but it does uh, curve while maintaining a general direction. What's the temperature like? Is it warmer or colder or the same? Um, you don't have the wind chill here, okay. so immediately it feels warmer. Mm. Okay. Um, and if you look at the walls, there's like glistening sediment. Okay. In the walls. Any sign of any recent movement, footprints, or anything? You see... You do see some footprints. Um, you also see, see some drag marks. Some of the footprints you see are paw prints. Some are human prints. Some are something halfway in between. My goodness. It would seem... Huh. Hey, friends up there! What? There is a secret tunnel through the mountain. Secret tunnel. All right. Do you see any people? No, but I see signs of uh, uh, some people, some beasts, and maybe some beast people. <laughs> some what? Beast people. <laughs> I think we should leave. Beast people. <laughs> I heard you. <laughs> Jonathan, did you hear that? Not well. Beast be people! Be he said bee people are down there. Bee people? Yes. No! Not the bee! Bee is with honey! This is with the beast! Bead people! Bead! Bead people! Yes! Like the vegetable. Oh my! What's going on up there? What's... Was that behind me? Before? Below? <laughs> <laughs> Which way should I go that's not that way? <laughs> what was that? I'm going to... Look at this tunnel. Would you like to come? Um, are the tractors in a good state that they'll be okay if we leave them? Yeah, you think so. What if the bee people come to take it? Bean people! Bean people. <laughs> I'm just saying bee people now. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I figure uh, it's safer for all of us if we stick together. All right. Uh, let's, let's go. I'll follow you. All right, you head in. Um... Same time. <laughs> we can't both go down the rope at the There's same time. There's multiple ropes. Is there? Yes. Oh, well, I'll take one with me while I go down this one. <laughs> you never know if you need more rope. Okay, you got some rope. Uh, so you continue along this natural path. Uh, it looks like it would continue a very long way. Um, however, you're not too far along it when you notice perpendicular to it, there's a hallway coming off from it. That's obviously carved stone. Is there anything on the walls of that? If you peek your head in, um, it looks like they're carved, and it's it's tough in, unless you actually go in. But it looks like there might be like pictures on the walls. Uh. Pic pictograms, or yes. Hmm. I don't like this. What are the pictures of? Can we tell? Yes, you can. Be people. Can I uh can I try to decipher or interpret them? You can. With um, your geology. So each of you something like that. Um Okay, so jo Jonathan's looking at it closely. Yeah. You need to make a pool. Very well. You know what? I don't know if these pictures are really that important. Let's just find the people and get out of here, Jonathan. Jo this Jonathan. This could be the secret. I don't this really care how we there's save bugs everyone. and monsters and bee oh people. Oh my god, Jonathan, I wish you... Oh my god, he did that so quick. It's the gloves. I Jonathan, never doubted you. Yes, you did. No, Liar. I didn't. No, I just said it was risky. Crazy Russian. <laughs> I... All right, well... If you really wish to look at the pictures, go ahead. Jonathan. Knowledge is power. Jonathan, you know, dynamite what do you see is in power. These pictures, Jonathan? 
Okay, as Jonathan is looking closely, uh, Nikolai, you hear the sound of stone scraping against stone, maybe claws against stone. Wait, wait, I hear something. Um, Charles, do you hear that? No. I think it might be these people. Which way is it? It's in that the direction of the noise. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, it is disturbing you greatly. Uh, you find your hand shaking. Uh, you need to make a pull to not drop your lantern. Oh, goodness. Okay. So you can drop the lantern, or you can make a pull. Oh, no! I dropped my lantern! <laughs> <laughs> Was it a torch or a lantern? Well, I had an electric torch, but I also had a lantern, I suppose. Okay. Well, uh... It's an electric torch. Yeah. I drop okay. it and does it break? It does. Um Damn, newfangled technology. And um uh what's worse is you feel a presence in the darkness. I like presence. I see there's something <laughs> over there. Not that um, kind of presence. You need to make a pull to avoid damage. So you can take the damage. Or you can make a pull. How much damage can we take? <laughs> you will not die. Wait, who's taking the damage? Uh, uh, Nikolai. Oh, all right. Taking some damage. <laughs> <laughs> I see that thing over there. It's still quivering. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, um, so you... I hear a noise. I hear I feel presence. Oh, no. You um, hear the sound of breath. And you can just see in the darkness, um, like white fangs, but they're not at the level that a wolf would be. It's at the level of your head. Don't think that's Ragnar. Um, I'm scared. In an instant, it reaches out and bites you in the shoulder. Yeah. You stumble backwards, um, it, uh, into these other two, yeah. and um, they turn their electric torch towards you and you see nothing. But your arm is bleeding. Igloos, I got I, something a bit to me. I got to be it. Be it. Be it. Be it. <laughs> you see nothing. I was a bit. All right. Do I, if I look, do I see him being bit? Like he is bit? Yes. He, he is bit. I, I am bit. You see bitten. a wound. Um, I wish to look at the wound. Okay. And examine... It's a very large bite mark um, with three other puncture marks. Well, Nikolai, uh, you should be fine. Jonathan, I'm not feeling very fine. Uh, here, let me wrap it up with a bandage. Wrap with bandage, yes. Yes. Here. yes. I'm yes. going to help him with the bleeding. Help okay. with bleed. As you're doing that... Um, Jonathan, keep an eye out for any uh, thing. Uh, Jonathan has made some discoveries. Yes, what, what did I discover? Okay, so the pictograms depict strange amoeba-like creatures with cones of tentacles for legs. Um, and they're huge creatures. It seems like they lived here in vast numbers and built huge cities while Antarctica was still warm. Each creature seems to have been as tall and wide as this hallway. The hallway you're in is... Um, Five meters by six meters. I'm so, suddenly filled with abject terror. Yes. Um, the Why? pictograms show a temple at the end of the hallway. Uh, the full moon and a giant wolf are depicted. And the creature, the creatures are gathered around it. So you can make a pool or you can have a moment of sanity lapse. <sighs> It's not so cold anymore. I will pull. Okay. <laughs> Jonathan, are you all right? I might go insane. What? I haven't quite decided yet. Jonathan, no. Charles. What? Something's wrong with him. Well, uh, yes, perhaps. He's acting weird, Charles. We should have gone back to the plane. Where's the plane, Charles? There's no plane. What? Uh, there, there was. There was is two. Is it hot in here? Uh, it's it's oh it feels good everything's going crazy around me 
Do I have to complete a layer before I start the next layer? Yes. Damn. <laughs> Is Calvin a Jenga master? I went over there, touched it something, and the whole thing shook for two minutes. Man. Perhaps it was your heavy Russian footfalls. So the good news is uh, you've managed to keep your wits about you. The bad news is um, the writing on the wall seems to m make sense to you. Um, it... Let's see. Jonathan, what does it say? Um, it talks about, like creatures worshipping the moon um and the moon being this divine or maybe the opposite of divine entity that casts its influence over the earth and um demands sacrifice and creates these wolf like creatures and um originally it had made these giant wolves that also sort of looked like men um, but eventually as the world got warmer, um, and other forces acted against them, they became small and pitiful and turned into what we now know as wolves. But it's possible through rituals and such to, um, bring these things back in things even worse than that. Like the great lumbering tentacle monster. Yes. The, the what? Well, you see this pictogram here. It it shows a giant creature that fills the hallway entirely. Do you look at the pictures, Doctor? I'm listening to him. <laughs> and then we look at the size of the hallway that we're currently standing in. For reference. Are you saying that there's pictures of squid monsters that are the size of this hallway? Quite possibly. And that's all you got from the pictures? Um, also, the moon is evil, possibly, or oh, good, I, depending I, on your interpretation. It's also quite possible that werewolves were not so false as we had originally thought. Never quite cared for the moon, but it seems kind of cool now. So this whole place is created in making werewolves and tentacle monsters the size some, of this hallway? Some ancient civilization or religion is the foundation for this place. Can we blow it up yet? We should search the other hallway. Should we? Quiet, phone. So, um... <laughs> What's a phone? <laughs> is that the two-way radio? <laughs> uh, uh, so, um, uh, you believe there's a temple at the end of this hallway? Yes, I do. For the sacrifices. I mean, out of the directions here, I believe that way would be a temple that you mentioned about your brother. So... Would it be prudent if we were going to destroy this place to focus the most destructive effort on that rather than the entrance? It's been buried down here for years. But uncovered. It might happen again. We'll just bury it more. We'll blow up all the entryways and get out of here. I have this. Do I get to vote? I have these. Nikolai, what would you like? I would like to see the temple. All right. Your eagerness concerns me, but... Nikolai? Yes. How, you feel all right? Yes. Do you like dynamite? Yes. How about you take some dynamite into that temple? That sounds like a plan. And blow it up? Yes. See? How, How much dynamite would you like me to take? I'll trade you your new lucky dynamite yeah. for more for this, lucky dynamite. This bundle of extremely lucky and fortuitous dynamite. Deal. Fantastic. Just don't throw it at the tower. <laughs> I wasn't going to. <laughs> Every time they walk by, I, I clench my butt. That's why I was going to throw it rather than walk it over. <sighs> All right. So, 
What? <laughs> we, he's gonna go to the temple. We walk that way. We allow our eager friend to progress first. Okay. So you guys are staying put, and he's continuing on. I will be behind him. We observe him. Okay. As he goes. All right, Nikolai. Yeah. You move forward. Um, <laughs> the the hallway warps in and out of reality. Um, it changes to the trenches of World War One. It changes to the hallway in your childhood home. Like it comes, it comes in and out um, until you finally find yourself in an open room with. I think I have a picture. <laughs> Left it at home. Um, so it is. A ruin of cyclopean blocks of stone. There are stone pillars with runes that are like floating in midair around what looks like a rune on the center of the floor that's red with blood. Beyond it are stairs leading up into what looks like some manner of temple. Um, The temple is old and Runus, although it does seem like there has been some construction on it recently. And as you enter in, um, you see carrying a large block of stone. Um, it is a wolf, but it is a wolf standing like a man, but bigger than any man that you've ever seen. There is a bee man. And he notices your presence. I'm just kind of enraptured by the beast man. Yes. And I'm just holding a three dynamite. He um he, he sees what's in your hand and seems to recognize what it is and begins to charge towards you. At alarming speed. Can the other two hear me? Um they can definitely hear the echoes. Okay. I mean I imagine we were we're were we following to an to a point? To a point, yeah. Like, I don't want to, like, if we came to a big old open area that I saw, like, a huge city in the ground, I might stop there. <laughs> but if we just walk to, like, where, like, there's, like, a room, I might yeah. stop at the entrance of the room. feel like as I've been walking, I've slowly taken out one revolver, put on the ground behind me, the other revolver. I'm slowly putting my weapons behind me. As you do, um, you notice that there's hair on your hand that you didn't notice before. And um, you can smell this creature in a way that you know he's dangerous. My friends, I do not want to be a bee man. <laughs> I'm going to light this on fire and run right at it. At it or the temple? The temple. Okay. The Anywhere I think I can find a structural integrity and maybe blow it the F up. All right. I do not want to be bee man. I am the Russian, and I will not be a beast. Nikolai. Yes. Good luck. Thank you, my friend. (laughs) You and Jonathan will fight no more, and you will get out of here, and you will find Robert. You need to make a pull. If you pull and it falls, you fail. No, sacrifice. Good thing it didn't fall over. <laughs> you gotta let him switch. Yes. You doing this? You doing the thing? All right. Nikolai. Nikolai runs in and chucks the lit dynamite towards one of the main pillars of the temple. He wraps his arms around the werewolf which tears at his flesh, but he holds him tight as he tries to escape and run towards the dynamite, knowing what it is and knowing what it's about to cause. The two standing in the hallway are shook and fall to the ground from a massive explosion. As you hear stone, tons and tons of stone begin to collapse. 
and indeed the hallway you were in. Um, small bits of rock and dust begin to fall down, and you think it would be best to leave. Jonathan, run! Let's get the hell out of here! You run as quick as your legs will carry you. Um, the visions and hallucinations cease, and um, you are able to make great speed and climb up the rope. As you do so, you see that um, there are a great number of wolves around the tractor. Um, however, they um, appear to be laying on the ground. And as you get close to some of them, you notice that they are, in fact, um, uh, naked men. Naked men? Hmm? There's naked men and dead wolves. Are they scattered al- around. Are they alive? Are, are, the, are the men dead? They're dead. Yes. Oh, naked dead men. Naked dead men. Yes. Well, that is unfortunate, but it simplifies our decisions <laughs> quite a lot. Uh, you get yourself in... Uh, are you splitting up? Uh, are you taking uh, two vehicles? Jonathan, do you recognize any of these men? Not at a glance. All right. Uh, do I? <laughs> Just quickly from the... Um, well, we're not in any, like, tremendous danger. You don't seem right? to be in any tremendous danger. Okay. Uh, you, I'll you, take some time and look around then. You do find your brother. Damn! You need to make a pool. I told <sighs> you they're all dead. <laughs> they weren't dead yet. Ah, father's going to be so cross. <laughs> not ready yet. <laughs> They're working on the tower right now. One moment. Uh, you need to take, um, let's see. Two, four, six. You need to take eight out of it at the start. Eight of them? You gotta take eight out? Yep. Eight before it starts. Damn it! Jesus! <laughs> Didn't make it. <laughs> That's on Too much. Did we switch? Should we? All right, you're making your pull? Yes, just one. Just one. Easy as pie. All right. All right. You um, hold yourself together. Do you want to take your brother's body back with you? Yeah. All right. Do you load up in one vehicle or two? Well, we have two of them. We need to get the pilots and stuff still. We should, yeah. So should we take both? There wasn't another one back at the base camp, right? As far as I know, no. Another what? Another tractor or transport. No. So I, so, I, I would say we so take... So the, the one we brought here only had a little bit of fuel in it, right? Yeah. Just from the can that we brought? Correct. So yeah, we should take the two new ones that have been well, there's the warming one, up. There's only one tractor. And a truck. And a truck. And a truck? Yeah. Okay. Um... I am going to get in the tractor. The other tractor? That looked just like the one we took to get here. Yeah, which, which one to me looks more suitable for the, uh, the trek? Um, either is fine. Um, the tractor is completely sealed from the elements. The truck's 
cab is sealed, but the rest of it is just like cloth. It's just open air, like a dually or, or uh, deuce and a half, rather. Mm hmm. Something like that. Okay. Um, I'm also going to switch the doggies over to mine. Okay. So that they're inside somewhere. Yep. One in each. You, you could if you want to dog in your thing. In case they start growling at something that I can't see. All right. All right. You are, are you taking your brother? Yeah. Are you going to put him in the cab with you? No. Where are you putting him? In the back. Of the truck? Yep. All right. Frozen. All right. You start to drive back. Um, Be a little snacksical. The, the snow begins to clear uh, as you drive back, and I assume you skip the base camp and head straight to the... Uh, it depends if we need fuel. There's fuel there. There is fuel there. We you, there's you, still fuel back at the plane, but we might need that for the plane. The plane, especially yeah. getting it out. So um, we could grab some supplies there and take the an, truck. Do in. another quick cursory search of the base camp. Okay, you do so. Things are eerily quiet now. Um, you continue to drive back. Uh, on your way off, far in the distance, you see a polar bear. As you continue on, uh, you make your way and you see uh, four very happy faces of um, the pilots. They're waving. Hey, you found a tractor. Thank God. Yay. We fixed the plane. What? We're With good. pieces of the other plane. <laughs> <laughs> Are we able to get out of here? I think so. We just need to uh, pull the plane out with the tractor. And use it to get the landing gear up. Where's that crazy Russian son of a gun? He, he didn't make it. Oh. Gave his life so that we could survive. So that all of us could survive. I thought I heard wolves out there. We oh. best be going quick. There's yes. a lot more than wolves, but we'll talk later. All right, let's get this going. All right. Who's pulling it out? Can the pilot's name be Lapidus? Lapidus? <laughs> <laughs> as long as that's the last name. Yeah. Um, does everyone everyone looks fine and good and Well, the guy with the broken leg isn't fine. Okay. Um uh, the guy with the head wound is conscious, but um isn't really able to do much. Uh the the, the other two seem fine, fit and fine. Let's uh What about the dog with the broken leg? Um Impromptu oh, dare say it's dead. bathing it's not party. Dead. <laughs> <laughs> Inspect everyone for puncture holes. <laughs> I make sure no one got bit. Yeah. So I just want to make sure no one looks injured at all. No, no one appears to be bit. Okay. All right. Just double checking. All yeah. right. Which of you is uh, pulling the plane out? I guess I'll do it. Make a pull. Pull. Oh, all right. Calvin's going to do it. Can I just use this? Yeah. What? To what? <laughs> <laughs> Don't steal my thing. <laughs> <laughs> Your thing. <laughs> oh, gosh. If this is where it happens. The world has gone and you die from a... <laughs> All the danger is over. Play that yet. We don't know. Cool. All right. Everyone is in the plane as uh, Jonathan pulls it forward. Don't leave without me! They're able to, uh, much effort, get the landing gear up. Uh, there's not really much of a place to take off here, but the pilots uh, turn on the ignition. The propellers start to roar. The plane vibrates. It starts to move forward. Uh, they pull up and start to take flight. And before you know it, you are in the air with Antarctica. Shortly behind you. Oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> this Antarctic adventure ends with you in the air, finally calm, warm, and flying to safety. The landscape seems tranquil under the silent gaze of the moon. The gaze which signs through the airplane windows and finds you well. The realization uh, that no one will be able to escape its gaze sinks deeply into you. A souvenir of this adventure that you'll never lose. The end? Damn. All right. There's some vodka in my seat. I'd like to partake. <laughs> no, it broke. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I had an extra one. <laughs> I was very close to just 
blowing you guys up and leaving. Blowing I know. Us up. That's why I said same time. <laughs> Especially when he was going insane and you were bitten already. I didn't uh -huh. go insane. And I'm like, fucking, I'm blowing you guys up. take the agency from both of us. <laughs> <laughs> you guys go in there, I'm blowing this whole place up. Uh, Done. We shouldn't uh, be here. That was so much fun. <laughs> I loved it. And I apologize to every Russian <laughs> that watches us. <laughs> Maybe a little bit, yeah. I just I slept it. Just cover your bases. In there. And to dog lovers. And dog lovers. Yeah. And people that safely transport dynamite. <laughs> yes, thanks, uh, Mag, for putting the props together. Eva the, helped with that as well. The yeah. dog was fun. The production of the props was amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Jake, thank you for switching and for doing all of the camera stuff. It was great. I had so much fun. Thank you guys for putting up with the cold. Oh yeah, and it's cold. Ugh. It was. I want it to be colder. I'm dying. <laughs> <laughs> I had to unzip everything. I think it turned off actually, so I should have turned it down more. <sighs> when we started opening up that dog, I'm like, "Are we doing this?" And then like all the stuff in it, I'm like, "We're doing this." I, know. <laughs> I was like, "Am I doing this wrong? I don't want to actually like mess this up. Should I, should I be yeah. messing this up?" That was awesome. So, but we saved the doggies. We saved some of them. Two Couple. of them. Was it two of them? Yeah, Four. we saved. We saved. Two, uh, yeah, I guess it was two dogs, huh? Yeah. Well, yeah. And Ivan with a broken leg. Yep. And who knows however many more by destroying this temple. Yep. So if you're interested in running this for Halloween time, the RPG is called Dread, which uh, you can find at your local game shop. You can also get it uh, digitally online. Uh, this particular adventure was Dread the Antarctic. The Antarctic. No, it was by fine. Zombie Be a Zombie Owlbear. And I made memes, says Rookie. Oh, is there memes? Good. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta do this more than once a year. It's too much fun. Sure, yeah. <laughs> it is. Ah. All right. Well, no, thank you to everyone who worked on that. And thank you, Rick, for running it. Thank you yeah. so much for running it. You're welcome. It and thank you, chat, for the bits, for the hallucinations at the end. Yes. And any bits that we missed going on. Yeah. Dog, for dogs' names, for subs that we had, everything. Thanks to these guys for playing their parts so well. A lot of fun. Huh. Thanks for um, running to Rick and Jake and building stuff, Maggie, and chatters. Yeah. Uh, we still have a little bit more for Scream Stream. If we're wrapping up for this, uh, I'll let you guys know tomorrow there should be uh, – there's one stream, but it's going to go from Phasmo, I believe, with uh, staff into the crew, or at least three of us will be playing Alien Fire Teams. Checking that out. Yes. So there's that. Um Calvin, I don't believe, has finished System Shock. Nope, haven't yet. So he'll be working on that more on Saturday? Yeah, probably. Um, and then we'll see where he's at. Uh, Monday I was planning on doing uh, com playing with Community for Dead by Daylight. If Calvin needs more time, though, we'll see how Saturday, Sunday, Monday kind of things go if he needs to yeah, work see on how it all shakes out. System Shock and stuff. But then uh, s uh, the 31st is going to be Sons of the Forest. Me and Calvin are going to be joined with uh, several others. Uh, yes. Debaba, Melanie, Carmen... Uh, I think I'm missing people. I think Lessa. Yeah. So we're going to be playing Sons of the Forest. It's going to be fun. We're excited for that. Uh, yeah, all day long on the 31st. So that's the rest of Scream Stream. Hopefully we'll finish that game that day. <sighs> but I enjoyed this. This was fun. And I'm watch glad. out for the B-Men. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much. Have a good one. Happy Halloween. Join the raid for Semblance of Sanity. Raid. Yes. Hell and Blind Wave sent you. Yes. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye.